following is a presentation of Westwood One Sports. It's time for the AFC Championship game. Presented by Intuit TurboTax. Let's head to the stadium and join Iron Eagle and Hall of Famer Tony Baselli. We welcome you to GEHA Field at Arrowhead for Game 2 of our NFL Conference Championship doubleheader. The Kansas City Chiefs host the Cincinnati Bengals with a spot in Super Bowl 57 on the line. Tonight's AFC Championship game is presented by Intuit TurboTax. Everybody, I and Eagle, along with Hall of Famer Tony Baselli, sideline reporter Laura Oakman. We'll check in with Laura downstairs shortly. Scott Graham will join us from our Westwood One studios at halftime in the NFC Championship game. Utter domination. The Eagles beat the 49ers 31 to 7. We'll have more on that later. But right here in Kansas City, it's time for the Bengals and the Chiefs, a rematch of last year's AFC title game, won in overtime by Cincinnati and Tony. What a scene here in Kansas City. You've got the sea of red, 70,000 plus. Everybody is ready for a big time matchup. And all of the questions surrounding Patrick Mahomes, the number one seed, the Chiefs, the high ankle sprain. Will it affect his mobility? Will it affect this offense? We know that they can be explosive as long as he's healthy and ready to go. We'll keep an eye on that as this thing gets started. Well, I think it's the biggest story early in this game. What is Patrick Mahomes like? I was here last week with the Jaguars playing when he got hurt, and it was significant where all of a sudden him extending plays and, you know, those big plays down the field that are off schedule were out of the playbook. And give credit to the offensive line. They did a great job of protecting him. Now, the week he's had, treatment, going through all everything that he did to prepare for this, the word is he feels good. And I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. Because when he's at his best, outside the guy on the other sideline, yeah. there's not many better. Should mention also, Pro Bowler Travis Kelsey, the tight end, popped up on the injury report. During the week, back spasms. He is active, ready to go. He has put up insane numbers this season and throughout his postseason career. This is the first AFC Championship game rematch since the Ravens and Pats did it in 2011 and 2012. The Cincinnati team is really confident, and they follow the lead of their quarterback, Joe Burrow. He's unflappable. Well, just like Patrick Mahomes for this franchise, five straight championships, and they've never hosted a championship game until he got here. Joe Burrow comes to Cincinnati and changed the entire culture and how they feel about themselves. He, it's 1A, 1B between him and Mahomes, and what Joe Burrow does, he has the great arm, he's smart, pre-reads all that, but he brings confidence I think to the entire organization, offense and defense, when he's under center, they feel like they have a chance to win any game anywhere. Five playoff wins the last two years. They had five total before 2021. Let's welcome in our sideline reporter for tonight. Here she is, Laura Oakman. Hi, I am. Some teams get hot over perceived disrespect. Then there's the Cincinnati Bengals who think it's hot. Said Hayden Hurst, I don't understand this whole underdog thing, but we hear it all and we love it all. The chip on our shoulder started as a pebble, but it's close to a boulder right now, he said. Now, we talk a lot of feeling, so I asked Hayden, hey, if the Bengals were going to write a dating profile, what would it say? He said, we don't trust everybody. We got trust issues. Definitely guard it. We started slow, but that was good. It gave us time to work on ourselves. And he said, that's the key, right? You got to fall in love with yourself first so you can flourish into something beautiful. I asked him, so should I swipe left or right? He said, left early on. I'm just being honest. But you can swipe right right now. We are ready. Jesse Bates loved the profile, but he added one thing. He said, we got unlimited super likes, and the whole team is using them on each other. Ian and Tony, I want to make sure that I say this. Jesse did tell me he only knew that term because he has friends on those apps. I want to be very clear as I said that. Me too, me too. Yes, yes, yes. I second and third that, Laura. I don't know what you're saying. Great stuff. Up next, we'll have the keys to tonight's game. This is Westwood One's coverage of Conference Championship Sunday. Nachos! Hey, I'll take some. And some Frank's Red Hot. Nah. You're just going to eat these boring nachos with no flavor. Uh. Frank, get up! Frank, get up! Oh. This guy finally gets 
get there. It's the perfect blend of flavor and heat. Frank's Red Hot. I put that on everything. I used to get frequent heartburn at night, so I made Prilosec OTC part of my morning routine. One pill in the morning, 24 hours, zero heartburn with Prilosec OTC. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. Good news, New Jersey. More residents are getting quality, affordable health coverage through Get Covered New Jersey. Established by Governor Murphy, Get Covered New Jersey offers increased plan choices and more savings than ever. Open enrollment is here. If you need health insurance, now is the time to enroll. Nine in ten people get financial help for plans that include preventive care, prescriptions, emergency services, and more. And many pay $10 a month or less. Find your plan at getcovered.nj.gov. Ray Maliazzi here for eBay Motors. So you ordered a new air filter for your car. You try to install it, but it doesn't fit. So you take a little bit off the sides. Well, still doesn't fit? Well, you could try to sit on it. Or get it right the first time with eBay Motors Guaranteed Fit. When you see the check, you know that part's going to fit. Air filters, brakes, headlights, over 122 million parts. Get the right parts at the right prices. eBay Motors, let's ride. It's the final days to save big store-wide at the Truckload Event at Lowe's. Right now, get limited-time deals on your favorite tools and accessories. Plus, get 10% off in-stock kitchen cabinets with a $1,000 minimum purchase. And save even more on clearance cabinets in-store. Hurry and shop the Truckload Event in-store or online while you can. Must ask cashier to apply discount at time of purchase. Exclusions apply. While supplies last. Selection varies by location. See Lowe's.com for details. About 126 through 2 age. Countdown to kickoff continues to the AFC Championship. The Bengals and the Chiefs, 33rd all-time meeting. Cincinnati, 18-14 and 14 against KC. Ian Eagle, Tony Baselli, Laura Open, the rest of our Westwood One crew. It's time for Tony's Keys to the Game, sponsored by NerdWallet, the smartest decision for all your financial decisions. All right, Tony, Keys to the Game, Bengals and the Chiefs. Well, it's going to start up front for both these teams, and because, one, you have an injured Patrick Mahomes, so you, the Chiefs offensive line has to have a big day today, and this Cincinnati Bengal defense, 29th in sacks this year, but they've dialed up the pressure, especially the second half, and against Josh Allen, almost 40% of the dropbacks, Josh Allen was under pressure. If that happened today with a hobbled Mahomes, the Chiefs are in trouble, and then for the Bengals, you have the three backups. We've talked about that all week. Everyone talked about it last week. They're going to have to run the ball. That was the key in Buffalo Probably the biggest game of the year for Joe Mixon. They were dominant. They were physical. So it took the pressure off them as far as the pass rush. And then you got to pay attention to the stars. Jamar Chase and Travis Kelsey. Kelsey had 14 catches last week against the Jaguars. Talking to the Bengals coaches, they're going to have a plan for him. Look to double him, knock him off the, uh, on the line of scrimmage. And that's going to be critical. And then the young secondary. Bunch of rookies back there against Jamar Chase. They, they cannot afford to give up the big play. He almost had 100 yards in the first matchup. It is the ninth conference championship rematch since 1970 when the AFC and NFC were formed. We've got all the action coming up. Opening kickoff between Cincinnati and Kansas City. You're listening to the AFC championship game on Westwood One. The NFL playoffs are here, and the easiest way to get into the action is with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. New customers get started with $150 in free bets, guaranteed when you place your first $5 bet. Just sign up with promo code WIN. FanDuel has all your favorite bets, from the money line to point spreads to player props, all on an app that saves secure and super easy to use. Place your first $5 bet to get $150 in free bets, win or lose, with promo code WIN. Make every moment more with FanDuel. And Official sports book partner of the NFL. 21 plus in select states must be present in select states. The so first online real money wager only. Bonus issued as non withdrawable free bets that expire in 14 days. Restrictions apply. See terms at sportsbookfanduel.com. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 Gambler or visit fanduel.com slash RG. For Colorado, Iowa, Maryland, Michigan, New Jersey, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Virginia, West Virginia. 1 800 Next Step or text Next Step to 53342 in Arizona. 1 888 789 or visit ccpg.org slash chat in Connecticut. 1 800 9 with it in Indiana. 1 800 522 Wyoming, Kansas or visit ksgamblinghelp.com. 1 877 770 Stop Louisiana. 1 877 Hope NY or text Hope NY. 467 369 in New York. TN Redline 1 800 889 9789 in Tennessee. Back in Kansas City, along with Tony Baselli and Laura Oakman, I'm Ian Eagle here on Westwood One. You're listening to the AFC Championship game presented by Intuit TurboTax. Kansas City has won the toss. They have deferred to the second half. The Chiefs will kick it off. They take the field wearing their red tops. 
white bottoms, the red helmet with the KC logo on each side. Cincinnati wearing the white tops and bottoms, names and numbers in black. The orange helmet with the Bengal markings along the sides of the helmet. Ball is placed at the 35-yard line on the tee for Harrison Buckner. Travion Williams is the deep man at the goal line. Rematch from last year's AFC Championship game. We've got the Chiefs hosting the Bengals. The winner goes to the Super Bowl, Philadelphia, waiting to see who survives this one. Hand in the air, Buckner on the approach, kick on the way, we're underway. AFC Championship, end over end, returnable at the three for Williams. Along the hash marks, right side, stumbles to the 20 and brought down there. That's where Cincinnati will open up, coming off a 27-10 win in Buffalo last Sunday in the divisional round. The Bengals are riding a 10-game winning streak. Tony, it's the longest in franchise history. This is a confident group. Well, they're a great second-half team, and they're a great second-half of the season this year team. But remember in the game last year, Ian, they started very slow, and the Chiefs had the fast start. I don't think they can afford that today. It was 21-3 before Cincinnati even knew what hit them. They came from behind to win the game. 27 to 24 in overtime. First and 10 from the 19. Burrow will throw it. Near side catch made. Chase zigzag move and he's chopped down after a gain of three on the play by Trent McDuffie. Well, the starting offensive line, Tony, this is where there should be concern. Last week, they were excellent, but you've got three backups in there. Carmen playing at left tackle. He's got Volson to his side, a rookie at left guard. Karras, the veteran at center. Sharping a backup at right guard. Odenogy is the starter at right tackle for the injured Lael Collins. Joe Mixon in the backfield on second down and seven. Burrow from the gun. He fires over the middle. Catch is made at the 32-yard line by Chase. Good enough for a first down. A nine-yard reception. They'll move the chains. Tackled by Juan Thornhill on the play. Easy pitch and catch. Yeah, the, under, the slot receiver just runs a little, hooks it up about seven yards, and then an in behind it with Jamar Chase. And that's what Joe Burrow does. The ball's out quick. Even if you would have won there, you might have hit him, but that ball is going to get out of his hand into Jamar Chase. Chase Higgins, Boyd, talented trio of receivers. Hayden Hurst, the tight end, and Joe Mixon, the running back. Jalen Watson is in as a nickel here for Kansas City. First and 10 at the 31. Burrow in the pocket, has time. He throws it, nearly intercepted. Trent McDuffie got his hands on it. It falls to the turf, incomplete. 13-37 mark of this opening quarter. Cincinnati moving from right to left. They'll have a second and ten. Uh, Burrow got fooled there. McDuffie in his zone underneath. Sinks deeper and undercuts that route. And boy, hit him right in the hands. It was, it was a high throw for him because he's trying to hit Chase in, uh, be, uh, behind him. McDuffie, the rookie, does a good job there of breaking up the pass, but I think he'd like another chance of catching it. Up front, Clark, Jones, Naughty, and Dana, Bolton and Gay, the linebackers, Sneed, Thornhill, Reed, McDuffie, Watson in the secondary. On a give, Piran going up the gut. Piran across the 35-yard line, working that left side for six yards as he gets dropped just across the 35 and an injured chief on the play. And remember in the first game, where the, in the regular season, Cincinnati won that game. They had 152 yards rushing, and that's from one of the worst rushing uh, offenses in the NFL. Trying to get P. Ryan going early. It is Legereus Sneed. He went in for the tackle with his helmet, and he goes down hard. They're checking on him. We'll step aside. 13-28 mark of this opening quarter. No score. Bengals and Chiefs. This is Westwood One's coverage of Conference Championship Sunday. Good news, New Jersey. More residents are getting quality, affordable health coverage through Get Covered New Jersey. Established by Governor Murphy, Get Covered New Jersey offers increased plan choices and more savings than ever. Open enrollment is here. If you need health insurance, now is the time to enroll. Nine in ten people get financial help for plans that include preventive care, prescriptions, emergency services, and more. And many pay $10 a month or less. Find your plan at getcovered.nj.gov. Milk. Eggs, 42 bucks. Ma'am, you okay? Me, Buck. With Jackson Hewitt, don't wait weeks for the IRS to send your tax refund. Come in now for up to $3,500 with a no-interest, no-fee refund advance loan when you file your taxes. That's up to $3,500 today. Don't let high prices get you down. When every dollar matters, it matters who does your taxes. So get to Jackson Hewitt today. 
For eligible clients, loans by Republic Bank and Trust Company. Details at JacksonHewitt.com. Ray Maliazzi are here for eBay Motors. So you ordered a new air filter for your car. You try to install it, but it doesn't fit. So you take a little bit off the sides. Well, still doesn't fit? Well, you could try to sit on it. Or get it right the first time with eBay Motors Guaranteed Fit. When you see the check, you know that part's going to fit. Air filters, brakes, headlights, over 122 million parts. Get the right parts at the right prices. eBay Motors, let's ride. It's the final days to save big store-wide at the Truckload Event at Lowe's. Right now, get limited-time deals on your favorite tools and accessories. Plus, get 10% off in-stock kitchen cabinets with a $1,000 minimum purchase. And save even more on clearance cabinets in-store. Hurry and shop the Truckload Event in-store or online while you can. Must have cashier to apply discount at time of purchase. Exclusions apply. While supplies last. Selection varies by location. See Lowe's.com for details. About 126 through 2 ways. Legereus Sneed got up on his own, walked over to the pop-up tent. He took a serious pop in run support to the head. So we'll keep you updated on that. Joshua Williams steps in for him. Sneed's in his third year. They've got a bunch of rookies in the secondary. Right now it's a third and four for Cincinnati. Opening drive of the night. From the 36-yard line. Burrow from the gut. Strong side left. Burrow steps up in the pocket. He's going to run to the 40. Looking for the first down. He's got it. Falls forward for six. They needed four yards. This drive remains alive. Good awareness from Joe Burrow. Yeah, a little bit of pressure against Carmen Jackson, the left tackle. And there's a flag on the field. Came out late. Let's see what this is. Ron Torbert. Before the ball was snapped. Ball starts. Offense from the 77. Five-yard penalty. It's third down. And that's a Denigy on the right side of the offensive line. Yeah, this place is rocking. I mean, this is one of the loudest stadiums in the NFL. you got to be really tight and disciplined. Watch that ball. They're going to go silent count most of the night. They are using Brian Cook as a sixth defensive back. And this is now a third and nine with a four receiver set. Working from the gun, three receivers to the right. Burrow, deep drop, moves to his right. Burrow in trouble. Burrow is sacked at the 21. Could not break away from Frank Clark. Initial pressure from Mike Dana. And Clark has been a sack machine in the postseason. 13th career sack. Passing Terrell Suggs for third all-time behind Willie McGinnis and Bruce Smith. Well, he's... Dan is working against Volson, the left guard, the rookie, and it's a power rush. It doesn't get there right away, but Burrow has to can't find anyone down the field. It's great coverage more than anything, and as he kind of tries to slide to his right, still looking down the field, nothing there, and then Frank Clark comes off late to get the sack. Drew Chrisman, talented first-year punter, will kick it away. Snap is a little offline. Christman with a line drive delivery. It's caught at the 25 by Tony. Far side of the field. Works his way to the 30. Tony to the 35, and he's drilled at the 36-yard line. 51-yard punt, a 9-yard return. Let's send it downstairs. Check in with Laura Oakland. Let me give a couple of updates. Let me start with Legereus Need. Came out of the tent. The good news is was able to walk right down into the tunnel, into the locker room for tests. I'll update you, but he was moving quickly to get down there. That's always the good news. Other things to talk about, weather right now, it's gusty. It's probably about 10, 15 miles per hour, not consistent gusty down here. But kickers pregame, we're even going outside the 50, so you can feel it rocking down here. Yeah, no doubt. It is cold. Uh, we'll update you on that temperature in a moment. On a give, Isaiah Pacheco gets the call. First play from scrimmage. Works that left side for just a yard. That's it. B.J. Hill, Sam Hubbard, part of a talented front for Cincinnati, joined by Hendrickson and Reeder. Pratt and Wilson, the linebackers, the secondary, Mike Hilton, Cam Taylor Britt, Eli Apple, Jesse Bates, and Von Bell. Up front for Kansas City, Brown, Cooney, Humphrey, Smith, and Wiley, Kelsey, the tight end, Juju Smith Schuster, and Marquez Valdez scantling the wide receivers. Play fake on second and nine. Check it down to the left side. Catch made by Pacheco, makes his move up field, breaks away, and he's out of bounds. Right at midfield, he slipped out of a tackle from Logan Wilson, and that's the speed of Pacheco. Turns that catch and run into 12 yards and a first down. Well, and this is where you got to be really good in your angles and this tackle discipline because good job down the field. 
there was nothing there, but just a little check down turns into a first down because Logan Wilson takes a bad angle and can't bring down Pacheco. Out of bounds at the 46-yard line in Cincinnati territory. That's good for 16 yards as he walks the tightrope. Shotgun formation. Mahomes throws it near side. Catch and curl. Kelsey, first down and more. Down to the 30-yard line. Travis Kelsey, a one-man wrecking crew. He's brought down by Von Bell. 16 yards through the air. Well, this Casey, uh, this Chiefs offense is so different than the past couple years because no Tyree Kill. The big worry always was Hill over the top, Kelsey underneath. And the question was, with no deep threat, how would that impact Kelsey? Well, the answer is it didn't at all. He had one of his best years, one of the best years in the history of the NFL for a tight end. 14 catches last week against the Jaguars. And once again, just finds the soft spot of that zone. He's deadly. Him and Mahomes are always on the same page. No score. We approach 10 minutes to go in this opening quarter. Kansas City on the move in Cincinnati territory. A little puck pass. Sky Moore to the right side. Could not turn the corner. And he gets hit after the gain of three yards by Logan Wilson and Cam Taylor Britt. Lou Anarumo is the defensive coordinator for Cincinnati. He's had legitimate success against this Kansas City offense. But we know that Andy Reid's always cooking something up in the lab for these matchups. Uh, he's 0-3 against them lately, so whatever he's cooking hasn't been working. Let's hope it's a new recipe. It might it might be uh, fat food. I don't, I don't know, Tony, but normally I'll, I'll try it. Second and seven. Stutter step move. Pacheco. Nothing there as he falls forward to the 25-yard line pickup of two. This Kansas City offense, Tony, they're still really good. Yeah. It may not have the mystique it once had. Is that a fair assessment? It, it keeps you up at night, but doesn't keep you up all night. And that's what it used to do with Tyree Kill, because over the top he was so dangerous. And last week, what they did when Mahomes got hurt, the run game actually came alive. Pacheco and yes. McKinnon had really nice days once the injury happened. Pacheco is explosive. He's the rookie out of Rutgers. Jarek McKinnon is now in on a third and five from the 25. Mahomes in the pocket. Plays it to the left side. It is caught! Grab. Well, they doubled Kelsey, so Tony gets the man-to-man -man coverage. The ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. Oh, pass. boy. Oh, yeah, and Hill, he's working against Hilton, the nickel. And immediately when Tony goes down, I am Hilton is pointing, saying, no catch, no catch. That ball hits the ground. We're looking at the replay right uh, now. That man rolled right at the end. Yep, and you can see he doesn't control it. It hits the turf. And that's the right call. There's a moment where he's trying to switch hands, but Kansas City might challenge this thing. The Chiefs offensive linemen are indicating that's a clean catch, clean catch. Andy Reid has made his way over to the official on the sideline. The Kansas City has challenged the ruling on the field of an incomplete pass. The previous play is under further review. This close shave instant replay review sponsored by Barbasol Shaving Cream. Choose Barbasol Shaving Cream for a thick lather and close, comfortable shave. Barbasol, the American original for over 100 years. Better buy Barbasol. Currently, no score. We've got a challenge. 8.53 to go in this opening quarter. You're listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One. It's O Rewards Bonus Points Month at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Shop in store or online to earn points and get rewarded at O'Reilly Auto Parts. O, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. What does it feel like to file with TaxLayer and get your guaranteed maximum refund? It feels like the last level of a video game, facing off against the final boss who stands between you and your refund. All your refund is belong to me. Using the power of TaxLayer like a secret power-up he doesn't see coming. Only the most tax confident can defeat me. Throwing your laptop at his video game face and watching him crumble into a giant pile of shiny coin tax refunds. Oh, not fair. You use TaxLayer. Save up to 80% when you file with TaxLayer. Start for free. Thursday, February 9th, kick off Super Bowl 57 weekend with host Kelly Clark. Find out who will be named the AP Most Valuable Player, presented by Invisalign. The Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year, presented by Nationwide. And more. 
Plus, the Pro Football Hall of Fame class of 2023, presented by Uber Eats, will be revealed. NFL Honors, presented by Invisalign, Thursday, February 9th at 9 Eastern, 8 Central on NBC and NFL Network. All times live, except in the Mountain and Pacific time zones. This week, Staples has deals so good, you're going to want to sit down. Are you sitting? I'll wait. Great. Right now during Staples Citizen, select chairs are more than 50% off. Like the Leather Vortex Gaming Chair. Now just $119.99 at Staples. You save $140. Plus get two two-ounce bottles of Purell hand sanitizer. Free with the Staples Connect app. So take a seat or two. Right now at Staples. The working, learning, and saving store. Offers N24. Chair offer valid in-store and online. Purell limit two. In-store only. While supplies last. Monster.com helps you tackle the job search and make your next career move. With great coaching and millions of job openings, Monster.com empowers you to score your next position and win the job hunt. Get off the sidelines and go to Monster.com today. We're back here in Kansas City waiting for the official announcement from Ron Torbert in his ninth year as a referee, 13th in the NFL. It looked pretty obvious. The ball was moving as he tried to shift it over to the other hand, Kadarius Toney. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands as called. It's an incomplete pass. Kansas City will be charged with his first time out of the half and his first challenge. That's when you know you're going to get booed by 72,000 people and there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm surprised it took them that long under the hood. They don't go under the hood anymore, but at the tablet. Because it was clear yes. from the first view that we saw, I am that Tony, as he has his left hand on it, he's trying to pull it in and get his right hand with it, but the ball rolls underneath him and is being drugged around, along the turf. Yeah. I mean, it's a very easy and right call by the officials on the field, and I'm surprised it took him that long to look at it. Under the hood sounds better. It sounds way better than, than at the tap. Go to the tap, yeah. This is going to be a 43-yard attempt for Harrison Butker. 98 points in the playoffs for him. A lot of playoff games for the Chiefs through the years. Trying to get on the board. Winchester snaps it. Townsend the holder. Snap. Placement kick on the way. And the kick curves through. Kansas City scores first with a 3-0 advantage. We've got a timeout on the field. 8.50 to play in this opening quarter. You're listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Ian Eagle, Tony Baselli here in the Granger Broadcast booth in Kansas City. The pros play with the best gear. Granger makes sure you get the best gear for your business. Count on Granger for supplies and solutions for every industry. Call, click Granger.com or stop by. Well, for Kansas City, of course, you get points. Happy with the start, but it was right there. Well, it was right there, and if you're the Bengals, if you force field goals against the Chiefs, that's a win. You know they're going to move the ball. They're a very effective, powerful offense. That's a win for the Bengals. Butker kicks it off left to right. Short kick handled at the 10 by Williams. Goes to his right, 20-25. Getting to the outside, and he's forced out of bounds right around the 40-yard line by Dion Bush on special teams. So a solid run back to set up Joe Burrow and the Bengals after the 28-yard return. Well, it's a short kick. you got a lot of wind out there. Laura talked about that. It is... Um, very cold, and so you don't compress the football as much, so you're not going to see a bunch of long field goals, in my opinion, and a bunch of returnable kicks. Current temperature, 20 degrees here in Kansas City, Missouri. Line of scrimmage is the 38-yard line, with the Bengals down 3-0. Four receivers set, handoff, Mixon, very effective last week, goes right up the middle and wrestles his way for three yards as he's hit by Jones and Clark. Send it downstairs to Laura. And that young secondary you guys were talking about earlier will remain younger for right now. Ladarius Sneed remains in the locker room in, per in concussion protocol. Yeah, there, there was no doubt about it. You could see it on the hit, Laura and Tony, that uh, this is going to be tough for him to come back from here today. 
Second down and long for Cincinnati. Burrow from the gun. Two receivers left, one to the right. Mixon sets up to his left. Burrow, deep drop, steps up, and Burrow is dumped at the 35-yard line. They're getting pressure. Willie Gay, a loss of five. Burrow's shoulder pads got knocked out of place. That's how much contact was made. Well, once again, I am, though, it's not immediate pressure. They bring the blitz, and Willie Gay's going to come off the right side. Adeniji doesn't do a very good job. He's got to stay on longer, but Burrow had time if there was someone who could break open early. Give that young second. They have three rookies starting at corner right now when they're on nickel. They did a great job right there. They gave half to Gay, half to Frank Clark. They've already given up two sacks. Gave up just one sack last week at Buffalo. Six defensive backs here for Kansas City. Burrow is walking away from the line. Yeah, delay a game. Delay a game. Offense. penalty. Third down. It's been a rough start for Cincinnati. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is Westwood One, your home for the NFL playoffs at Super Bowl 57. WFAN, WFAN FM, WFAN FM HD1, New York. Always live on the free Odyssey app. These fans are juiced up. Fifth straight conference championship being hosted by the Kansas City Chiefs. Third and 18. Burrow in trouble again, and he's sacked at the 22. Chris Jones, his first career playoff sack. And the Chiefs are bludgeoning the Bengals' offensive line here in the first. Well, this is something they couldn't do last year. They only had one sack, already three today. And Chris Jones, the best defensive tackle in football this year, 15, oh, 15 and a half sacks, the second time his career he's done that. And he just went right back by Mark uh, Sharping, Max Sharping, excuse me, and Burrow had no shot on that play. So the Bengals will punt again with Chrisman. This time, McCole Hardman is the deep man standing at his 27-yard line. The ball bounces at the 37, rolls inside the 30, far side of the field, settles into the 28. So a 47-yard punt. Kansas City gets the football back with a 3-0 lead, 6-16 to play. In the first quarter, you're listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One. I know a lot of you really want the State Farm Personal Price Plan, but what's with the oversharing? Like this message Brian left me. Hey, Jake from State Farm. I uh, love the smell of my cat's breath. Yeah. You don't need to get that personal. The State Farm Personal Price Plan helps you create an affordable price just for you. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or go to statefarm.com for a quote today. Prices vary by state. Options selected by customer availability and eligibility may vary. Welcome back to the AFC Championship game. It's time for another memorable moment in football history. Sponsored by NetSuite by Oracle. A 31-yard attempt for Cincinnati. Step, placement, McPherson, kick on the way. It's good! McPherson knocks it through, and the fairy tale continues for the Cincinnati Bengals. They are going to the Super Bowl. Why not us if you're Cincinnati? Who day? One year ago, tomorrow, the Chiefs and Bengals battled for a trip to Super Bowl 56. Evan McPherson's field goal in overtime. Half a remarkable comeback for Cincinnati. They erased an 18-point deficit to stun the Chiefs. 27-24 advanced to their first Super Bowl in 33 years. The Chiefs actually won the overtime toss, took the football with a chance to score first and win it, but there would be no Patrick Mahomes magic on that day. KCQB was picked off by Bengals safety Von Bell on the third play of OT. Burrow, Mixon, that combination proceeded to calmly engineer a nine-play, 42-yard drive to set up the chip shot winner. That's tonight's memorable moment in football history, sponsored by NetSuite by Oracle. The number one cloud financial system. Head to NetSuite.com slash touchdown for a one-of-a-kind special financing offer. That's NetSuite.com slash touchdown. And a legal touching penalty against Cincinnati. 
So toss that in to this very strange first quarter for the Bengals, a team that has not made a whole lot of mistakes. They've made a bunch of them already. Yeah, but this is also a team that's probably the best second-half team in football. Joe Burrow, the highest-rated quarterback in the second half. So slow starts doesn't mean they're going to panic. I mean, this team, we saw it last year, Ryan. They were getting blown out of the building 21-3, and they never panicked and just kept things going. So it's early, but you're right. A lot of early mistakes. Three sacks by that offensive line that played so well last week is struggling early against the Chiefs passer. Dax Hill, it was the rookie out of Michigan, the guilty party on the illegal touch. So first and 10 now at the 33-yard line along the left hash mark for Kansas City. They've got a 3 nothing lead. 6-16 to go in the first quarter. Shotgun, Mahomes. Protection holds up initially. He moves to his right. Mahomes looking downfield. He swings it to the right sideline. Caught by Noah Gray, who falls forward for a gain of five. Touched by Mike Hilton on the play. Well, this is the first opportunity we really see Patrick Mahomes scramble a little bit. And no noticeable limp. I'm not sure he's moving as well as he did before the high ankle sprain, but... No real issues, gets outside to the right, no real pressure, a little bit of push by Henderson, but good job by Mahomes. Second down and five for Kansas City. Ball at the 38-yard line. Pacheco lines up to the left of Mahomes from the gun. Floats it to the left side. Caught by Pacheco, turns it up field 40, 45. Chewing up yards across midfield and down at the 45. Pacheco. 18 yards. He's like a wrecking ball out there. Yeah, really well set up. He got the big block by Tooney against Logan Wilson. That's what springs Pacheco. And uh, you said it early. Pacheco is an explosive guy. And, boy, a lot of teams pitch, miss, uh, passed on him a lot of rounds, but he's been pretty good this year for the Chiefs. Seventh round pick from Rutgers. He put up big numbers when given the opportunity this season. Five receivers set. Kansas City on a first and ten at the 45 of Cincinnati. The throw, Mahomes, perfectly timed. Catch made by Tony, working the sideline. And he is dropped right at the line to gain. So it's going to be nine and a half or ten, depending upon the spot. Tony was a pickup in a trade with the New York Giants. Gives them that speed element that they were looking for. And it's going to be second and one. And watching it, he tries to plant that left foot and the knee and both his knee and ankle kind of buckle a little bit on him. That's why he went down. Oh, watch, watch him closely. Make sure he's all right. Ronald Jones in. Was with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers prior to his stint with Kansas City. They give it to him. Jones trying to turn it upfield, and he runs into a wall on that left side, led by Jermaine Pratt. No gain on the play. Cincinnati is not littered with a bunch of big names on defense, but Tony collectively great chemistry and well-coordinated group. Yeah, they got good players, though. I mean, their middle linebacker, Logan Wilson, is really good guy, uh, both run and pass defender, every down linebacker. You have Von Bell and Bates in the back half, two high-end players. Henderson can rush the passer very well. And then maybe their unsung hero is D.J. Reader, really good in the middle of that defense. Second and one. Turning the corner, Hardman. He needs one yard, and he's going to have just enough to move the chains. Might have a banged-up chief, though, on the play as Trey Smith was slow to get up. Combination of Wilson and Taylor Britt bring him down. First down, Kansas City. What a hit by Taylor Britt. I mean, Harmon gets the first down, but Taylor Britt, from his secondary position, never breaks stride. Legal hit with the shoulder pad right to the chest of Harmon. We're down to three minutes to go in this opening quarter. Kansas City up 3 nothing. On the move at the 34-yard line of Cincinnati. Give to McKinnon. Spin move on the right. Nothing there. They sniff it out. It's going to be a loss of one. Cam Sample was all over it. Paying too much to file your taxes? Switch to Tax Slayer. You could save up to 80% compared to the competition. Head to TaxSlayer.com today and start filing your return for free. Yeah, early, this Bengals defense did a really good job against the run, and that's critical against the Chiefs because last week against the Chiefs, they got the run game going against the Jaguars, and the Jaguars had no answer for it. Under center, Mahomes, three tight end formation. McKinnon will set up in the backfield. Now shift one to the right side. Mahomes, play action. Looking downfield, has time, zips it. Catch made, and a little shovel after the grab. McKinnon 
jumps on it as Kelsey tried to toss it out. It was not well coordinated, and it could have blown up in their faces. They're fortunate it's going to go down as a 14-yard pass play. So two things there, Ryan. How does Travis Kelsey get that wide open? <laughs> I mean, there is nobody within four or five yards. He could have turned it up and probably got five or six more. He does the underhand shuffle, and it's not like the kid is close to him. He's a good eight yards away from him, and it's just off target. So she's fortunate that didn't get away from him. First down at the 22-yard line of Cincinnati. A minute and a half to go in this opening quarter. Take it. Mahomes sets, throws over the middle, finds a soft spot. McKinnon with a grab inside the 10. This Kansas City offense is humming 13 yards. Well, yeah, they're in a rhythm right now. And the Bengals brought a late delayed bit, uh, blitz with Von Bell. But he can't get there. And Travis, I mean, excuse me. Uh, Mahomes is just so patient, hangs in there the last second, and then finds McKinnon, who's dangerous. Break the huddle, first and goal for Kansas City. Chiefs are trying to add to their lead. Eight completions, six different receivers for the Chiefs. Mahomes from the gun. Motion man, Hardman to the near side. Mahomes shovels it, and the pass is incomplete. Nearly intercepted McKinnon was the intended target. We've seen that closer to the goal line, oftentimes with Travis Kelsey, but Zach Carter got in there defensively for Cincinnati. Well, I think Andy Reid might want to take all the uh, shuffle passes and <laughs> underneath pa uh, kind of tosses because Kelsey almost screwed up that one. A little bit of fastball from Mahomes. McKinnon hits him right in the face mask. It bounces in the air, and a Bengal defensive lineman had a chance but couldn't come up with it. Ten play of the drive. Second and goal from the nine. Pacheco in the back here. Tight formation. Motion man Hardman to the near side. Handed off. Pacheco breaks a tackle. Pacheco still going. He's in. Touchdown. Pacheco is a lightning bolt. Nine yards. Big block from Brown. And Kansas City takes a 9 nothing lead. Oh, late flag. I, I didn't see it. It's right in the middle. Three they threw a flag in right in the middle of the line of scrimmage. I didn't see it either. I thought that was a touchdown. Great run by Pacheco, but they're going to get a hole. They didn't say the number. Uh, uh, looking at Wiley with backside tackle on this play. The right tackle is holding on. Boy, I Wait. guess it's a technical hold. And he had B.J. Hill around the waist. Yep. And just held on for one. Just one too long and the official to the flat. Touchdown off the board. Wiley with the hug brings Kansas City back to the 19. Second and goal. Mahomes. Pump. Throw. End zone. Lofter. And it's high and incomplete offline. Nobody even in the area as Mahomes basically threw it away. The closest player was Eli Apple for the other team. Well, he had to get rid of it. Because Henderson had beat the left tackle, Brown, on a nice kind of fake the power, worked up on the upfield shoulder, and is right in Mahomes' face. So Mahomes has no choice. Kelsey's open underneath, but he doesn't have enough time to allow the route to develop because of the pressure from Henderson. Chiefs break the huddle. 32 seconds to go in this opening quarter. Two tight end formation. Now a third tight end, Kelsey. Well, Andy Reid called timeout. I'm Second charge timeout. Kansas City. Yep. He, didn't, he didn't like something down there. It was a quick timeout. He even They're just getting out of the huddle, and you see Andy Reid kind of sauntering down the sideline to go tell the official, I don't like what I call the reimagined Pro Bowl, presented by Verizon, is headed back to Vegas. Tickets start as low as $35 next Sunday, February 5th, 12 p.m. Pacific time at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. Visit ProBowl.com slash tickets to buy your tickets today. So think about it, Tony. Kansas City first drive. Looks like Tony, not you, the other guy, Kadaris Tony, got a touchdown. Not quite as athletic as me, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. we can debate that another yeah. time. Looks like he's got a touchdown catch. No. He yep. juggled it. They challenged it. It's off the board. They settled for three. Pacheco has a, a run to the end zone where he's a bruiser. He's going to take a touchdown lead onto the three-point advantage they already have. No. It comes back. The hold. 
but things not quite as crisp as they need to be for KC. It's, it's ugly on the Bengals' side, but they're getting breaks right now and keeping, so far, the Chiefs out of the end zone. Third and goal at the 19-yard line for KC. They just used the timeout. Down to one. Mahomes on third and goal. Steps up. Mahomes throws on the move. Catch is made by Kelsey at the nine. Kelsey is brought down from behind at the six by Trey Hendrickson. There was a moment there where it looked like Kelsey was thinking of flipping it back again as he turned it upfield. Yeah, this is the first time Mahomes is going to get hit on some late pressure. And that's DJ Reader. He gets rid of it underneath the Kelsey. And yeah, you're right. Look at the replay. He almost pitched that to Noah Gray. Yep. So, time runs out at the end of the first quarter. Butker's going to have a short field goal attempt when we come back to Kansas City. End of one. 3 nothing lead for the Chiefs over the Bengals. You're listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One. You don't have to be from the West to live the West. You just need the spirit, the confidence, and the style. And that sense of adventure that comes with each new day. Wrangler, for the ride of life. Shop our newest styles today at Wrangler.com. At Staples, you can count on every project being print perfect, guaranteed. I need presentations and brochures printed, and they have to be perfect. Your bounded presentations, brochures with the finest folds, and more will be done right every time. That's our print big promise. Now at Staples, get $10 off your document printing and marketing materials order of $50 or more, plus 20% back by a store bonus. Try Staples and see the difference. Ends 225. Rewards members only. Bonus must be redeemed in store. See staples.com slash stores slash print big for details. Is that a horse? Actually, it's a wild stallion. Since Navy Federal Credit Union's Platinum Card made it easier to tame our holiday debt, I wanted to see if I could tame something else. Uh huh. Help me saddle up. Ugh. I need to pick the kids up from school. With a low intro APR on balance transfers, the Platinum Credit Card lets you take control of your debt. Learn more at NavyFederal.org slash Platinum Offer. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Insured by NCUA. <laughs> Barbasol Shaving Cream is available in five fantastic flavors to customize your close shave. Whether it's original, soothing aloe, or Pacific Rush, there's one for every face. Find your favorite Barbasol today. Barbasol. Tonight's broadcast of the AFC Championship game on Westwood One is sponsored in part by Barbasol Shaving Cream, by Monster.com, by KFC, by Nerd Wallet, by Wrangler Jeans, and by NFL.com. Ian Eagle, Tony Baselli, Laura Oakman, the rest of our Westwood One crew here in Kansas City. A chilly Sunday evening for the AFC Championship game. The Chiefs have a 3-0 lead as we start this second quarter, and it will be a short field goal attempt for Harrison Butker to open up the second. A little conversation out there by the officials. Is, a, is Buckner trying to get warmed up? We saw on the last field goal, that thing, because the wind hooked, about 10, 15 yards. He started on the far right and hooked all the way, barely made it through, through the left upright. This is a much shorter kick for him and uh, should be uh, pretty matter of fact. And now he's kicking it from right to left. It's going to be a 24-yard attempt. First kick was from 43 yards away. The veteran James Winchester will snap it. The punter Tommy Townsend will hold it. The snap, placement. Looking good. Butcher's kick is straight through. Six-nothing advantage for Kansas City. Two seconds into the second quarter. A reminder that for every field goal made tonight throughout the remainder of the postseason, Barbasol will make a donation to Curb and Brenda Warner's Treasure House, a living community for adults with disabilities. Barbasol Shaving Cream, an American original for over 100 years. Close Shave America, Close Shave Barbasol. 14.58 to play, first half here in KC, the Chiefs with a 6-0 lead on Cincinnati. This is Westwood One's coverage of Conference Championship Sunday. Don't miss the winning Wonderland event at Empire City Casino, now through February 25th. Up to 800 lucky winners can take home a share of $1.2 million in cash, free play, and two brand new Mercedes-Benz. Drawings will be held on Saturdays in January and February, including the grand prize drawings on January 28th and February 25th. You just
don't want to miss it. Empire City Casino. Game on. Must be 18 years of age or older to play New York Lottery games. Please play responsibly. Everyone knows time is money. So don't wait weeks for the IRS to send out your tax refund. Go to Jackson Hewitt instead for up to $3,500 with a no interest, no fee, tax refund advance loan. With up to $3,500, you could bring home the bacon and bring it home today. Money now instead of later, that's worth its weight in gold. Don't wait weeks for your refund. Go to Jackson Hewitt today. For eligible clients, loans by Republic Bank and Trust Company, details at jacksonhewitt.com. When it comes to sports betting, the best thing you can do is to have a game plan. Before you place a bet, make sure you know the game and how it works. Set a limit for how much time and money you want to spend, and never borrow money to place a bet. And if you need to, team up with a friend who can help you stick to your game plan. Remember, you're playing to have a good time, so never chase your losses. Stick to the game plan and know the signs of problem gambling. Learn more at oasas.ny.gov. At my age, I never dreamed I'd be dealing with opioid addiction. I was pregnant, and I couldn't stop. Getting sidelined by an injury was bad, but the cravings were way worse. Then I heard about 844-REACH-NJ. They connected me to treatment, and I had a healthy baby. 844-REACH-NJ was the call that made the difference. Thank goodness I made the call. How glad I made the call for both of us. Reach-NJ. If you or someone you love is struggling with addiction, call 844-REACH-NJ from the New Jersey Department of Human Services. Welcome back, along with Hall of Famer Tony Baselli, Laura Oakman, Iron Eagle here on Westwood One. You're listening to the AFC Championship game presented by Intuit TurboTax. Kansas City has a 6 0 lead, Tony. It certainly could be bigger than that, so you look at it from a couple of angles. Cincinnati has not played very well. They're only down six points. Oh, I think if I'm on the sidelines and I'm a Bengal player, I'm like, all right, hey. We've weathered this. It's okay. We've played terrible. You have three sacks and a false start delay a game with negative, negative yardage right now. Like, okay. And it's only 6 nothing. Keep on playing. We've been here before. Nothing to panic about. 110 total yards for Kansas City. And that's kick booming from right to left through the back of the end zone coming out to the 25-yard line. Hey, nobody gets you closer to Super Bowl week than NFL Network with extensive live coverage from Phoenix all week long, including Super Bowl opening night and the most game day coverage anywhere. Super Bowl week starts Monday, February 6th on NFL Network. First two possessions for Cincinnati, five plays, four yards, opening possession, a punt. Second one, three plays, minus 14 yards. A punt. They've given up three sacks. Toss it near the side. Chase gets to the outside 30 yard line and he is angled out of bounds at the 33. Good block from T. Higgins to help spring Chase for eight. Yeah, and this is this is the play call right here. Zach Taylor saying, okay, let's take some pressure off the offensive line. Let's slow it down, get the ball to our best player in the perimeter. It's a nice first down play. You, now you're ahead of the chain. Now you can run the ball and kind of get your offensive line feeling a little bit better about themselves. Tight formation, two receivers to the left, mix it in the backfield on second down and 10. First, in motion to the left. Pitch it to Mixon. That way, Mixon is slammed down, but he's got what could be a first down. They're going to mark him down a yard short. Willie Gay and Nick Bolton. And Bolton is a major tackler, one of the best in the NFL, and they're going to need a yard to move the chains. Well, they're two inside linebackers. Can, Willie Gay and Nick Bolton can absolutely fly sideline to sideline. And you saw it right there. That's a toss crack. Mixon to the outside and from his inside linebacker position, Bolton just takes off like he shot out of a cannon, and Mixon has no chance. Ball is spotted just across the 34. They need to get to the 35 to keep this drive alive. P. Ryan is in. Motion man chased to the far side. Hand off P. Ryan to the right. He's got a first down. Keeps the legs turning. Picks up a couple extra yards. Give him four total up to the 38. Nick Bolton got in there. and yeah, I'd like to see that replay. I think Nick Bolton might have got held. Yeah, he was... Definitely indicating to the officials he was held. And he's in the backfield. He does another great job coming downhill. And they didn't call it, so it's not holding. But Bolton not very happy. 
Had a big game, Pirine did, against Kansas City in the first meeting this season. 155 total yards. He remains in there on first and 10 from the 38. Burrow to throw it. Short toss to the left, caught by the tight end, Wilcox. He's got some room to the left, and he's got a first down stumbling forward out near midfield. A gain of 11. Lost his footing, or it could have been more. I think his... The connection between his brain and legs like interrupted for a second. Didn't work. There was a short circuit. All of a sudden, his legs aren't keeping up. He had a, a lot of green grass. It's a great play call. And you see Zach Taylor taking the pressure off the offensive line. Another screen right there. Well executed. It is the first down. Line of scrimmage is the 49. Wilcox had 17 catches during the regular season. More of a special teamer. But getting some opportunities, the injury to Drew Sample. Shotgun, 12.22 to go, first half. Burrow steps up. Burrow is sacked at the 45. The fourth of the day for the Kansas City D. And it's the rookie, George Carl Loftus, out of Purdue. Yeah, and again, if it goes down as a sack, I am, there's four sacks so far, but I think two of them, you got to credit the secondary. Joe Burrow had time. He was not harassed. He stepped up. No issues. Good job by the offensive line, but he can't find anybody. And remember, there's three rookies playing corner. You would expect Higgins and Chase to win, and Burroughs just can't find right now. So the line of scrimmage is now the 45, second and 14, four receiver set. Burrow throws, and it bounces off of Pirine. The timing was off. Burrow let it fly. Pirine turned, and it already hit him in the chest. Incomplete tight coverage from Willie Gay. Yeah, this is probably the most off. We've seen Joe Burrow as far as with his receivers and timing. And because usually when he has time in the pocket, he's going to find somebody. Again, no, a little bit of pressure, but nothing major. He's trying to get the P line, and P line's not looking. P line remains in there. Cincinnati has a third and 14. 11.37 to go. Second quarter. Burrow, deep drop. Has some time. Rainbow to the near side, and it is hauled in by Boyd. Tyler Boyd, the veteran, not a factor last week in Cincinnati's win in Buffalo. This one covers 16 yards and a first down. Well, it's man coverage against McDuffie, and Boyd out of the slot just beats him on the out route. And good job up front because they brought the blitz. They brought the extra rusher. The Bengals pick it up. Burrow knows he has man-to-man -man coverage and hits Boyd. Perfect throw. Great route. Ball is inside the 40-yard line. First play in Kansas City territory tonight for Cincinnati. Two receivers to the left side. Burrow looks to the right, and he just tossed it at the feet of Pirine. Pressure from Trent McDuffie. Kansas City's dialed up some different looks here defensively, and it's working. Yeah, McDuffie coming off the slot. He's playing the nickel. And this, uh, and this defensive formation, they're trying to hit the P line on the screen, but give the front of the Chiefs a ton of credit. They read it. They sniffed it out. And so Bo knows he has the nickel blitz coming off his left. They've read the screen. There's nowhere to go with the ball. He just throws it in the dirt. Cincinnati, eighth in total offense this season, 360 yards per game, seventh in scoring, 26 points per game. They have held Burrow in check so far. We've got 10.51 to go in the first half. Shotgun. Burrow on second and 10. Burrow. Fastball over the middle. Caught at the 20-yard line. Turning it upfield to the 15. And then slammed down is Boyd. 24 yards on the hookup. And the Bengals are in business. Uh, that's twice on this drive that Burrow's gone to Boyd. And he's beaten McDuffie. McDuffie's playing the spot, and he falls down at the release, so he's playing catch-up, and it's a great job by Boyd, but even better by Burrow, because he throws it short, can force Boyd to stop in front of the single high safety. And Boyd was banged up on the play, appeared to be an issue with his left arm. Trenton Irwin is now in for Cincinnati. They go trips to the left, first and 10 at the 15-yard line. We hit the 10-minute mark of the second quarter. 6-0 lead for KC. Inside run, nothing doing. Joe Mixon gets engulfed. A loss on the play. He runs into big Chris Jones. Four straight Pro Bowls. A loss of two. Well, Matt Sharping is having his hands full with Chris Jones right now. And it's just a backside block. It's him and uh, Chris Jones one-on-one. -on -one, and Jones just whips him. 
and is in the backfield, and you described it perfect, Ian. He engulfs Joe Mixon. There is no chance Mixon has to get away from Chris Jones. They'll we'll call it a loss of three. Second down and 13 at the 22-yard line for Cincinnati. Mixon remains in there, sets up to the right of Burrow. Burrow will throw to the left side, hauled in by Hurst. Hurst. He is brought down by the ankles. Trent McDuffie has Hurst tried to get an angle on the sideline and couldn't quite break away. Picks up just five yards. It'll be third and seven. Yeah, Hayden Hurst is going to just work up to the left, just kind of sit it down in the flat. And he's one-on-one -on -one with McDuffie, the rookie. And McDuffie does the right thing, doesn't try to take him up high. The big tight end goes right to the ankle and brings him down. Nice short tackle. Third and seven from the 13-yard line. Shotgun formation here for Burrow. Motion man Irwin will settle in to the right side. Two receivers right, two to the left. Burrow takes the snap, looks, floats it to the end zone, extending left side, incomplete. Hayden Hurst in double coverage. It hit him in the hands, but he couldn't bring it in. Justin Reed and Brian Cook get a veteran and a rookie on the combination. That was an amazing throw. That went right through Hurst. Now, it was good coverage, so it would have been a great catch. He had to concentrate. There was a bunch of arms going around in front of his vision. But I am. I'm not sure you could throw it any better. It went right through his hands. That would have been a touchdown. 30-yard attempt for Evan McPherson, one of the heroes for Cincinnati in the postseason last year, along the left hash mark. And a Midas will snap it. Chrisman to hold it, trying to get on the board. From 30 yards away, the kick is on the way, and it is good. Cincinnati put some points on the board here in the second quarter. With that field goal, Barbersaw will make another donation to Kurt and Brenda Warner's Treasure House, a living community for adults with disabilities. Barbersaw, the trusted choice for a close, comfortable shave. Close shave, America. Close shave. Barbasol, 8.36 to play, first half in KC, the Chiefs 6, the Bengals 3. You're listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood 1. Is your check engine light on? Let our professional parts people scan and diagnose the problem for free. Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Wesley Financial Group is not a law firm. This story is called The Ugly Truth About Timeshare. If you think you've done your family a favor by buying a timeshare, you need my help. Hello, I'm Chuck McDowell, CEO and founder of Wesley Financial Group. Ten years ago, I started helping folks cancel their timeshare. In the process, started what's now called the timeshare cancellation industry. Timeshare is the only thing that you can buy that you can't tell me how much it's going to cost or when it's going to end. When you buy a timeshare, you give them a blank check to fill out any amount they want for annual maintenance and assessment fees. The crazy thing is, this never ends. Even when you die, your family's now going to be stuck with this burden. Stop the insanity today. Call my office now. If we take you as a client, I guarantee we'll cancel your timeshare or you'll pay nothing. Call for your free information kit. 800-714-9090. 800-714-9090. 800-714-9090. Finding quality candidates for your small business is no little league game. That's why Indeed can help you cover all your hiring bases. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and interview quality candidates. With Instant Match, the moment you sponsor a post on Indeed, you get a short list of quality candidates from their resume database that fit your job description. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to expand your team today. That's Indeed.com slash credit. Introducing Barber's All 1919 Classic Shaving Cream. Paying homage to the original invented over 100 years ago. This new non-aerosol formula features enhanced ingredients, an exceptional glide and crisp fragrance for a winning shave experience. Barber's our score in Kansas City, the Chiefs 6, the Bengals 3. You're listening to the AFC Championship game presented by Intuit TurboTax. Philadelphia is in the Super Bowl. They are awaiting the winner of this one, the rematch from last year's AFC Championship game. The Bengals and the Chiefs doing it once again. Evan McPherson just nailed a 30-yard field goal. He will kick it off from left to right. Isaiah Pacheco, the rookie, is standing at the goal line for KC. Ball on the tee. McPherson end-over-end kick 
angles it to the right side and curves it perfectly into the end zone away from Pacheco. Let's go downstairs, check in with Laura Oakman on the sideline. As the Chiefs offense comes on the field, one receiver will not be there. Last time we talked to Darius Tony, the last time they were out here in the offense, he left the field. He is questionable with an ankle injury. Right now, Tyler Boyd left that last play. He left and it looked like he's been rubbing his left quad. I mean, just stretching it and standing by the blowers, um, testing it. He is in the blue tent right now. I'll update that when we have more. All right. Thank you, Laura. Hand off to Pacheco. Dances to the 30-yard line. Good run. Five yards. Well earned. D.J. Reader, one of the real standouts for this Cincinnati defense, in there to make the stop. You know, Pacheco's not the biggest guy, and he's really explosive. We talked about that. But he has sneaky power. And you watch him on tape. Rarely is that first guy going to take him down. He's going to run through arm tackles, and he grinds those legs. Yeah. And he got that five yards. Contact was at two. The last three was mostly him. Second down and five. Pacheco remains in there. Tight formation. Snap. Mahomes throws a quick one to the 35-yard line. It's good enough for a first down. Juju Smith-Schuster pulls it in, and Eli Apple guides him towards the sideline for a gain of six. Uh, it's just, you know, Smith-Schuster came over as the free agent for Pittsburgh. He's had a nice year. And... He did not have a big week last week against the Jaguars. No one did except for Kelsey. I mean, Kelsey had as many catches and yards as about everyone else. And But he's, he's that underneath physical receiver. He's not going to beat you deep. You don't have to worry about that. But th that's the style of route he likes to run. We set it downs to work with from the 37. Pump fake. Mahomes out of the pocket to his right. He zings it to the right sideline. Caught by Valdez. Scantling and takes it down the sideline for a first down. 11 yards. So... It hasn't been the big, explosive plays from Kansas City. That's what we were used to in previous years. They're doing it a different way, but it's been effective. Yeah, it's very effective. The move in the chain, Patrick Mahomes has definitely matured and like taking the next step because it's not just about the big play. He is a smart quarterback taking what defenses will give them, and he's been very patient all year, and we're seeing that tonight. Longest play of the day for KC, Pacheco, 18 yards. Line of scrimmage is the 48. Fake it. And now a default thrown to the left side. It is Valdez Scantling with the grab. Goes down to the turf at the 22-yard line. Mike Hilton and Von Bell there. Patrick Mahomes lays it out there perfectly for 29 yards. He's working against Hilton in the nickel. He starts really tight to the formation. Sells like he's going to go to the right. Kind of a deep over route. Then breaks it to the corner route. And you have Von Bell over the top. It's a good throw, not a great throw. It's a great catch because he contorts his body to work to the behind him and goes up high to catch it. Big time play. Line of scrimmage is now the 23 in Cincinnati territory. They'll hit the six-minute mark of this first half. It's a handoff. McKinnon stop and go left side along the half and gets extra yards after contact. Four-yard pickup. Tupo along with Pratt to bring him down. Well, Pratt has him. I thought he was going to yank him down, but he's trying to grab the ball. Instead of tackling him, he's ripping up McKinnon. He has in his left hand. He's trying to get it out, but good ball security. McKinnon gets that other hand around it and makes sure that Pratt can't rip it out. Patrick Mahomes, third quarterback all time to go to five straight conference championship games. Tom Brady, Ken Stabler, the other two. Line of scrimmage is the 18. Motion man, Hardman, they give it to him, running the left side, stops and takes a pop at the 15. Brought down by D.J. Reeder on the play. Five-yard pickup for Hardman. Hardman is back. He had been dealing with a pelvis injury. And we talked about them losing Hill and that speed, but they still got some speed. Nicole Hardman can flat run, and so can Valdez Stantling. As you can stretch the field, but you can't fall asleep on either of those. Third down and one from the 14-yard line. Mahomes, take the handoff. Mahomes looking. Mahomes is brought down at the line of scrimmage. Cam Sample, he thought he had enough room to get the first down. It turned out he did not. No gain on the play. And that no gain goes down as a sack for Cam Sample. He, he comes off the block, actually falls down, gets back up. Great hustle play there. Fourth down and one. Mahomes is not leaving the field. 
Kansas City. Kansas City will make an adjustment they got to hurry. personnel. And they're going to have to hurry on. The play clock's down to 11. Yeah, they're going to have to call timeout. They only have the one remaining, but there's 4.05 on the game clock, and now they've accepted that's what's going to have to happen. And Andy Reid will take the timeout with 3.59 to play in this first half. Later on, we'll choose the player of the game. Sponsored by Wendy's. Wendy's fries are hot and crispy every single time. Natural cut, skin-on fries prepared to golden goodness, perfectly sprinkled with sea salt, just the way they should be. Choose Wendy's hot and crispy fries today. Now, don't be surprised if Andy Reid throws the ball here. They're not a power running team. They're a space running team. They like to spread you out, find space. They, now, they have a good interior three. Those are really good, three good players. And uh, Trey Smith, uh, Tooney at the two guards, and Creed Humphrey at the center. But they don't have that big, powerful back that can go, go downhill and get that hard yard. And that's what they need. One yard to keep this drive going. Ball is placed at the 14-yard line. Fourth and one for the Chiefs. They break the huddle. 3.59 to play. First half. 6-3 lead for Kansas City. Went for it 12 times during the regular season on fourth down. Got it nine times. Moving pocket. Mahomes looking. Right side. Throws. End zone. Touchdown. Travis Kelsey. Patrick Mahomes with a strike. And he delivers. 14-yard score. And the Chiefs add to their lead. Travis Kelsey with his 15th career playoff touchdown. Tied with Rob Gronkowski for the second most all-time. Hall of Famer Jerry Rice, number one with 22. Wow. I thought he was going to go to Smith Schuster. He had the flat for the first down early. He passes. And then got base man-to-man -man against Kelsey. And Kelsey, like a basketball player, kind of puts him on his back hip and just boxes him out. And just bigger man wins. Kelsey wins on the post up. Butker knocks through the extra point. And Kansas City has got a 13 to 3 lead with 3.53 to go in the first half. You're listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One. I had a nighttime routine for my frequent heartburn. I would drink milk, I would sleep upright with more pillows, but that painful burning stayed. So I made Prilosec OTC part of my morning routine. With just one pill each morning, Prilosec OTC prevents excess acid production, blocking heartburn day and night. Now I have a new nighttime routine. I call it sleeping. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn with Prilosec OTC. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. It's not easy being the one everyone counts on to keep your operation running, no matter the weather or supply chain hiccup. But we get you, Raymond and Buffalo, Maria and Miami, and Jules and Troy, taking control of everything that's under your control. At Granger, we're here for you with high-quality supplies for every industry, plus real-time product availability and access to experts ready to help. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Welcome to a late-night edition of What If. The show where I, Jake from State Farm, answer your insurance what ifs. We've got Sean on the line. What's up? Hey, Jake, what if I'm too stressed about my coverage to sleep? Like, what if I don't have enough? Or what if I need to change it? Oh, if you can't sleep, just give us a ring. We're available 24-7. At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Oh, great. What if I just take a little nap? Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or go to statefarm.com for a quote today. Hello there. My name is Seychelle, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is the punch of flavors that's unlike any other. You get the crispy tenderness of the chicken and that hint of sourness from the pickles. Ta-da! <laughs> hey, I'm Juan, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is you know you're going to get chicken that's crispy, golden, and juicy. This is the gold standard of chicken sandwiches. Order the original Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich on the Chick-fil-A app today. Real customers paid for their testimonials. Time to check the drive summary, sponsored by Monster.com. Monster.com can help you tackle the job search and make your next career move. Time to get off the sidelines. Go to Monster.com and win the job hunt. Eight plays, 75 yards, 4 minutes and 43 seconds. Mahomes, 4 for 4 on the drive, the 61 yards. 
a big part of it, and of course the touchdown pass to Kelsey on a fourth and one. And Kansas City in front, 13 to three. Butker to kick it off from right to left. Travion Williams standing at the goal line waiting for it. The kick will go over the head of Williams, out to the 25 for Cincinnati. By the way, that Mahomes-Kelsey combination, 13th playoff touchdown, now second best for a duo in NFL history, passing Montana to Rice, and now just too shy of Brady to Gronkowski. I mean, they're, they're deadly. I mean, there's not, I mean, this is not nothing uh, groundbreaking. There's not a better tight end in football than Travis Kelsey. He has an argument that he's the greatest ever. First down and 10 at the 25-yard line for Cincinnati. The offense has been quiet for the Bengals. Burrow operating from the gun. He's got Mixon to his left. He looks to him. They'll zip it out there. Caught at the 24. Drives through the defender. Goes down. And Jalen Watson takes the brunt of the hit. Six-yard pickup through the air. Clock is moving down to 3.38 to go in this first half. Yeah, just a little check down to Mixon. And Mixon says, um, Mr. Watson... You're a rookie. Let me tell you, let me let you experience the pain. I mean, he, thought, he just went straight at his chest. They had no qualms about what he was going to do on that play. Second down and four. Boyd is on the sideline for Cincinnati. Laura mentioned it earlier. He's trying to work through something. Chase shifts out of the backfield. It's a handoff. Mixon with a zigzag move, tries the right side, and they were ready for him. Nick Bolton hits him from the side, limits him to a two-yard pickup, sets up third down and two. Yeah, I, I think they got away with the hold there, right tackle with energy against Carlos Dunlap. And Dunlap not happy, and that's why Mixon had to bounce it to the outside, because Dunlap gets all kinds of penetration, and now this is a big third down. You don't want to give the Chiefs the ball back, because remember, they get it coming out of the halftime as well. Along the right hash mark at the 33-yard line. Third down and two for Cincinnati. They trail 13-3. Burrow shot up. Two receivers left. One to the right. Third receiver in the slot left. Burrow waits. Floats it up top. It is intercepted at midfield by Watson. And he ducks out of bounds. Joe Burrow put it up for grabs. And the rookie Watson with the pick. Yeah, this is just a bad throw by Burrow. There's no real pressure. You can't really late, but the ball's already gone. And I believe that's T. Higgins. It is. He's trying to get... He just underthrows it. And Watson just plants his right foot, goes up high, and snatches it out of the air. Big turnover. And a 10-yard return, setting them up right around the 40. Kansas City with another scoring chance when we come back. 2.22 to go. In this first half, 13-3, Chiefs. You're listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One. Get in zone, AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? Ah, uh, starting trouble. No one likes that. We'll get you set up for some stronger starts. You might just need a fresh charge, and we'll take care of that free of charge. But if it is time for a new battery, we've got replacement batteries that'll fit your needs, starting at just $79.99. You can learn more about our battery selection at AutoZone.com. That's what makes us America's number one battery destination. Get in the zone, AutoZone. Claim based on data from the NPD Group 2021. Running your own business can feel a lot like running a one-person relay race. When you've got to expand your team, share the baton with Indeed. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates to your roster. With Instant Match, the moment you sponsor a job at Indeed, you get a short list of quality candidates from their resume database that fit your job description. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to get started today. That's Indeed.com slash credit. When you bundle your renters and auto insurance with Progressive, you could save money, but it doesn't cover any terrible memories living rent-free in your head. Hey, just wanted to remind you of that time your kicker missed the extra point and lost the game. Even though he literally never missed an extra point, he chose this playoff game to miss. Yeah, I just noticed you hadn't thought about that in a bit. Wouldn't want you to miss, you know, thinking about it. Sorry, we can't save you from that memory. But we could save you money bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Coverage from Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and third-party insurers. Renters insurance and bundle discount not available in all states or situations. A reminder that you can hear Westwood One's coverage of tonight's game at Super Bowl 57 stream live for free. Catch all the action on the NFL app via Westwood One station streams on westwoodonesports.com or by asking Alexa to open Westwood One Sports. 
All sponsored by AutoZone. It's time to say good night to that check engine light with the free AutoZone Fix Finder service. It'll help troubleshoot the likely cause of your light for free. Restrictions apply. Get in the zone. AutoZone, first interception for Joe Burrow in his last 122 playoff passes. And Kansas City has got the football at the 39-yard line of Cincinnati. They have two minutes and 22 seconds to work with in the second quarter. Kelsey sets up on the right side. Pacheco to the left of Mahomes from the gun. Snap. Mahomes. Protection is there. He gets rid of it. Bounces it in the direction of his intended receiver, Valdez Scantling. Incomplete. B.J. Hill with some pressure from Cincinnati. Yeah, B.J. Hill's getting late pressure off of Mahomes right. And he's trying to slide ever so slightly to buy time. Good coverage. And he just can't set his feet. And that ball's way off target. I'm not sure anyone was open anyways. Andy Reid is coaching his 10th conference championship between Philadelphia and Kansas City. What a career he's had. Second down and 10 at the 39. Five receiver set. Kelsey in motion to the right. Empty here for Mahomes working from the gun. Three to the left, two to the right. Mahomes quick throw to the left side, and it's incomplete. He was trying to hit Isaiah Pacheco on the quick hitter. Coverage from Eli Apple, and it's third and ten. Well, they're bringing the blitz off the edge. Mike Hilton's going to come, and Mahomes knows. Actually, they're bringing both Hilton and Bates. They're bringing six. Mahomes knows he's got to get rid of it, and he's just off target to Pacheco. Eight different receivers have caught at least one pass. Mahomes is 13 of 18, 165 yards and a touchdown. Dime package here for Cincinnati. 2.15 on the clock. Third and 10 for the Chiefs here in the second quarter. Deep drop. Mahomes looking. Uncorks it right side. Incomplete. Sky Moore was over his head. Sky is 5'10 and never really had a chance at it. Three and out for the Chiefs. It's bad throw. He had him. Sky Moore had a step. And if he catches that, I think he can turn the corner because Cam Taylor-Britt is completely in a trail position. And Mahomes has no no uh, pressure at all. And he just airmails it. And you can see the frustration as he's jogging up the field. He gave that frustrated clap as he got to the sideline. Tommy Townsend, a pro bowler this season, averaged over 50 yards per kick. Trying to place this one. Townsend ball in the air. Chris Taylor gets under it. It bounces at the five, up in the air, and out of bounds. Townsend, well done. Out at the four. 35-yard punt with the flowing locks. And he's all pumped up along the sideline, getting backed up by his teammates. Iron Eagle Tony Vaselli here in the Granger Broadcast booth in Kansas City. Winning takes vision. Granger helps on-the-job visionaries with supplies and solutions for every industry. Plus, Access to experts and 24-7 support. Call ClickRanger.com or stop by. Line of scrimmage. Is it the five-yard line? Two receivers right, one to the left. It's a running play. Nixon left side. He is trampled down after a gain of two. Chris Jones and Nick Bolton there to greet him. And we have reached the two-minute warning sponsored by First Alert. Did you know carbon monoxide is odorless and invisible? Help protect your family by installing First Alert carbon monoxide alarms on every level and in every bedroom. Visit firstalert.com for CO alarms and safety tips. 13-3, Kansas City in front. You're listening to the AFC Championship Game on Westwood One. Did you know that carbon monoxide is odorless and invisible? And the only way to detect it is by installing carbon monoxide or CO alarms. First Alert is reminding you to install CO alarms on every level and in every bedroom of your home. Also, remember, alarms don't last forever and need to be replaced at least every 5 to 10 years depending on your alarm. Protect your home and family with safety you can trust by visiting FirstAlert.com and Lowe's stores for your carbon monoxide alarms. It's the final days to save big store-wide at the Truckload Event at Lowe's. Right now, get deals on select major appliances and take home what you buy same day. And save an additional 10% on all in-store clearance appliances. Plus, get savings on even more items across the store, like up to 40% off select bathroom products. Hurry and head to your local Lowe's store or visit Lowe's.com to shop the Truckload Event today. 
Exclusions apply. While supplies last, selection varies by location. See Lowe's.com for details. About 126 through 28. Getting your guaranteed maximum refund with TaxLayer feels like... Uh, yeah, yeah. Saddling up and chasing down... Look at that sweet Lula! That big old cash cow. File for free with TaxPlayer Simply Free and get your guaranteed maximum refund. TaxPlayer. File fearlessly. A reminder to stay tuned for the Westwood One AFC Championship Game Halftime Report with Scott Graham. Scott will look back at Philadelphia's win in the NFC Championship Game. That's all coming up at the half. 159 to play. Second quarter here in Kansas City. Joe Burrow... Waiting for the magic to happen. He's 8 of 13, 82 yards, and an interception for Cincinnati. Well, they, they haven't got the run game going very well, uh, not like last week. And so this offensive line has had the pass block, and they've struggled a little bit. But I actually think the thing that has probably jumped out more than anything is how well, after when Jerry Sneed got hurt, they have three rookies playing out there at all three corner positions when they're in nickel, and they've held up very well. These two teams played on December the 4th. Cincinnati beat Kansas City 27-24. Joe Burrow is 3-0 in his career against the Chiefs. Second down and eight. From the seven-yard line, shotgun formation for Burrow. Deep in his own territory. Pass out to the near side. Caught by Hurst. Stiff arm at the 10. And he is brought down by Brian Cook, shy of the 15. So that will be short of a first down. And boy, I think... Zach Taylor, the head coach of the Bengals, wouldn't have minded if Hayden Hurst stayed inbound. Because maybe the Chiefs have no timeouts, they're backed up. And if you don't get this third down here, you're going to give Patrick Mahomes plenty of time left on the clock. They are facing a third down and two. Two of six so far on third down in this first half. 152 to play in the second quarter. Key line in the backfield, strong side to the right. Shotgun. Burrow, deep drop, steps up, Burrow to his left, looking downfield, flips it across his body, pops up in the air, and intercepted by Thornhill! Flag is down as Hurst took a shot on contact. Brian Cook, and it might have been early, and it may have caught the attention of the officials. That's what they're trying to determine. Well, I'd like to see that again. I, I thought it was bang, bang. Defense number six. So Burrow's rolling to his left. There's no real pressure, but he can't find anybody. So he starts going to his left, but then he throws it back into the middle of the field. And I was wrong. It was not Bang Bang. It was early. I mean, Cook puts the shoulder pad right into the back of Hayden Hurst before the ball got there. Tony, that would be just one bang. One bang. It was not no Bang Bang. 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 <laughs> it was a bang interception. Called back. A lot of scrimmages now, the 34-yard line for Cincinnati and a first down for the Bengals. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. A minute 44 to go in this first half. Burrow, short toss, caught by P. Ryan, tries to curl it up field, and he is brought down at the line of scrimmage by Mike Dana. It'll be second down and long for Cincinnati. The clock is rolling, they'll give him a yard. Dana does a great job from his defensive tackle position of falling back in, recognizing the screen and making the play. P. Ryan stays in there. Down to 119 to play in the second quarter. Burrow packs the ball, throws, falls in by Chase left side. And he's down at midfield. 17-yard grab. The clock continues to roll. Cincinnati has all three timeouts to work with. First time we've seen Chase catch a ball down the field. Everything else has been the bubble screen. They place it at the 49 in Kansas City territory. Under a minute to go. Burrow, shotgun, sets his feet, throws to the right side. Coming back for the football, it is T. Higgins who is knocked out of bounds. He got a shot from Joshua Williams, the rookie out of Fayetteville State. Justin Reed had coverage and a modest gain of four yards. Clock stops, 50 seconds to play. I'm, I thought the officials might wind that iron because... T. Higgins is go he catches as he comes back to the ball, and he's actually going away from the line of scrimmage when he goes, I mean, towards the line of scrimmage when he goes out of bounds. And I think the official says he was going backwards because of the contact. That's what forced him, not his own, uh, own volition. 
So 50 seconds to play in the first half. Cincinnati trying to get some points here. Jump off to the left side, cut by Piran. He's got room. Piran with a collision at the 40-yard line along the sideline. Brian Cook got him down low. Joe Burrow will take a timeout with 40 seconds on the clock. Well, right now, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is Westwood One, your home for the NFL playoffs and Super Bowl 57. WFAN, WFAN FM, WFAN FM HD1, New York. Always live on the free Odyssey app. We are here in Kansas City, along with Tony Vaselli and Laura Oakman. I'm Ian Eagle on Westwood One. You're listening to the AFC Championship game presented by Intuit TurboTax. 13-3, Chiefs lead the Bengals 43 seconds on the clock. They added three seconds, and Cincinnati will have a third and one at the 40-yard line of the Chiefs. And because you have two timeouts here... You can quarterback sneak, you can run it, you don't have to throw it. Get the first down, you can still use one of those two timeouts. And then line up knowing that you'll have about 4.39 seconds left before the half, one timeout. Now if you're Zach Taylor, you can start kind of game planning. How do you want to manage that situation? First things first, though, get the first down. Ball is spotted just inside the 40. They need to get to the 39, so it's not even a yard. Third and half a yard. Joe Mixon in the backfield. Burrow operating from the gun with a tight formation. Handoff. Mix it straight ahead. He's got the first down. Sticks the helmet down and drives into the defender for three yards. And a timeout called after he got the necessary yardage. We mentioned Cincinnati's banged up on the offensive line. No Jonah Williams. No Alex Kappa. No Lowell Collins. They're starting Jackson Carmen, Max Sharping, and Akeem Adeniji. First quarter, it was rough. A lot of pressure on Burrow. They gave up a bunch of sacks. Second quarter's been a little different feel. We got a break in the action with 39 seconds to play in the first half. 13-3, Kansas City in front. You're listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One. I wanted to know why some people who get COVID-19 get it so bad. I found out it may be because they have a high risk factor, such as heart disease, diabetes, being overweight, smoking, and asthma. Even if symptoms feel mild, these factors can increase your risk of COVID-19 turning severe. So if you're at high risk and test positive, there are things you can do, like asking your healthcare provider if an authorized oral treatment is right for you. Learn about an option at treatcovid19.com. This message is sponsored by Pfizer. Southern Recipe. Pork rind. Southern Recipe is celebrating Pork Rind Appreciation Day by giving you a chance to win $5,000 and a year's supply of high-protein, low-carb pork rind in this year's Sack for Snack Sweepstakes. For a chance to win, enter at southernrecipe.com. That's southernrecipe.com. No purchase necessary. See official rules at southernrecipe.com. Southern Recipe. Pork Rind. Available in the snack aisle at your local World Market today. When you bundle your renters and auto insurance with Progressive, you could save money. But it doesn't cover any terrible memories living rent-free in your head. Hey, just wanted to remind you of that time your kicker missed the extra point and lost the game. Even though he literally never missed an extra point, he chose this playoff game to miss. Yeah, I just noticed you hadn't thought about that in a bit. Wouldn't want you to miss, you know, thinking about it. Sorry, we can't save you from that memory, but we could save you money bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Coverage from Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and third-party insurers. Renters insurance and bundle discount not available in all states or situations. Kansas City, the one seed in the AFC. Cincinnati, the three seed. We've got 39 seconds to play in this first half. The Chiefs in front, 13-3, to but an opportunity here for the Bengals, Tony. They've got a first down at the 37-yard line of Kansas City. Well, remember this drive started at the five-yard line, and the big pass interference extended it, and so right now, can the Bengals take advantage of that big mistake and put it in for a touchdown before the half? Burrow is 5-of-5 five five on the drive for 33 yards to four different receivers. Shotgun, Burrow, two receivers right. He looks that way, he slings it, passes caught by Higgins for a first down. Quick move inside for 11. And that looks like he had a little sidearm action on that because of the pressure from Chris Jones. He's bull rushing Sharpie. And started final charge timeout. Cincinnati. Joe Burrow does a great job of finding the lane and hit T. Higgins on the slant. Nice release by Higgins. Beats the 
beats the defender, Joshua Williams, another rookie to the inside. But now the Bengals and Zach Taylor have used their last time out, so we have 32 seconds, ball on the 26-yard line. So now the ball is thrown in the field. you got to hustle, get up, and spike it. Three receivers left, one to the right. Shotgun formation for Burrow with P line to his right. Now first will shift to the backfield surrounding Burrow. Takes the snap, looks to the left, throws. Sideline route, it is caught at the six by Higgins. And brought down by two defenders. The clock continues to roll. It'll be first and goal, 20 seconds left. That one covers 22 yards. Cincinnati rushing to the line. Clock is rolling down to 13, 12 seconds. Burrow is going to fire it up in the air. It's knocked away. Left side by Jalen Watson. Higgins the intended target. Eight seconds on the clock. Boy, that took a lot of time. Let's go back to the play before. It's T. Higgins. And I thought T. Higgins got away with a little push off. But it's a back shoulder throw. It's, it's very accurate. Jalen Watson's working at Higgins. And with the slight push off from the placement of the ball, that creates the separation. But Higgins could not get out of bounds in the clock. As you said, it was just quite felt like it was going fast. Second and goal from the five. Eight seconds remaining in this second quarter. He run in the backfield. Two receivers to the right. Burrow. Play fake. Throws right side. End zone. Incomplete. Higgins the intended target. Burrow took a shot at the end of that throw. And with four seconds left, the field goal unit will come on for Cincinnati. He was hit by Chris Jones. Remember last year, Ian, it was the Chiefs who had five seconds That's in right. this situation. They said, we're going to try to go get the points. And if we don't get it, we'll kick a field goal. They threw it short. Tyree Kill gets tackled. And they get no points. Zach Taylor says, I'm not taking that chance. I'm kicking the field goal and taking my points. And, Tony, at the time, you said it was a terrible decision. We don't have to replay the tape. I'm here to verify it. I did. You would win in a court of law. Field goal attempt, 23 yards. McPherson drills it as time expires in this first half. Cincinnati takes the points. And they trail at the break 13 to 6. Big moment in this uh, first half. Joe Burrow throws an interception on the the, uh, the Chiefs get the ball on the plus 40. Three and out. They punt it away, pin them deep, but the Bengals come back and get points. That could be a big swing, and I think is important going into halftime and coming out. End of the first half here in Kansas City. The Chiefs on top of the Bengals 13 to 6. When we come back, Scott Graham joins us from our Progressive Insurance Studios with the Halftime Report. For a job you'll love, visit Progressive.com slash careers today. You're listening to the AFC Championship Game on Westwood One. Nerds. At NerdWallet, we often see people blocked when making financial decisions. Hey, Carol. Coach, these credit card offers, they're everywhere. Harold, look, it's tough out there, but you have got this. With Nerd Wallet on your team, you will make the smartest play with side-by-side -side comparisons of top credit cards. Whoa, a card that rewards me for buying sports gear. Let's go get that cash back, team. Nerd Wallet, the smartest decision for all your financial decisions. I wanted to know why some people who get COVID-19 get it so bad. I found out it may be because they have a high risk factor, such as heart disease, diabetes, being overweight, smoking, and asthma. Even if symptoms feel mild, these factors can increase your risk of COVID-19 turning severe. So if you're at high risk and test positive, there are things you can do, like asking your health care provider if an authorized oral treatment is right for you. Learn about an option at TreatCOVID19.com. This message is sponsored by Pfizer. Graham from our Westwood One studios. We've reached halftime of the AFC Championship game. If you were looking for high-flying offensive fireworks, not so much at this point. It's largely been a field goal game, but Cincinnati, which had zero total net yards in the first quarter, comes back and gets a late field goal. Kansas City's lead now 13-6 to as we have reached the break at Arrowhead Stadium. Earlier today was the NFC Championship game and a clash of the Titans in the NFC. San Francisco winners at 12 in a row going in to take on the number one overall seed in the NFC, the Philadelphia Eagles. This game expected to be a big-time haymaker throwing back-and-forth kind of game. As it turned out, it wasn't. 
Philadelphia Eagles on their first drive of the ball game, trying to get deep down into San Francisco territory against the best defense in the National Football League, and a big play got him there. Shotgun snap, rush from the pocket, runs to the near side, points and throws on the run down the sideline. Leaping one hand, falling down, sideline catch by Devontae Smith at the six on the sideline. How in the world did Hurts find the escape hatch? And then what a leaping one-handed, falling down catch by Smith at 29. First and goal, Philadelphia at the six. From the never let the truth get in the way of a good story category, much later on we saw a reverse angle replay in which Smith didn't really control the ball as he hit the ground. But the Eagles went quickly. They got a touchdown from Miles Sanders. They got themselves an early 7 0 lead. And then Brock Purdy, the kid quarterback who had lit the league on fire with the San Francisco 49ers, got hurt. Hit on a play in which he ultimately fumbled the football and injuring his elbow, he would not come back for the remainder of the first half. San Francisco used their defense to get a short field from Philadelphia, and at the end of a six-play drive, their playmaker, who turned out to be their only offense of the game today, got them back to even. Two tight ends, one back, there's the snap, spin, handoff, McCaffrey hurdles the defender, but over the right tackle he goes, 25, takes the tackle, it's the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, he'll burst into the end zone, touchdown, San Francisco! A 23-yard touchdown run, and now San Francisco, in the most improbable of ways, is one point away from tying this game in the second quarter of the NFC Championship. An electric run from Christian McCaffrey, but San Francisco did not have a whole lot of offense today. Josh Johnson coming in to play quarterback for Brock Purdy, who remained on the sidelines in the first half. Eagles put together a 75-yard drive, aided by three defensive penalties by the Niners late in the second quarter. And the same running back who got them on the board got them the lead back. Hurts, right foot ahead of his left, crouching low, shotgun snap, hands off to Scott, over the right tackle, the 10 to the near sideline, the 5, a block at the pylon, and a touchdown! Boston Scott sprinting in on a 10-yard touchdown run, and the Eagles have scored again to build their lead to two touchdowns over the 49ers. So after Sanders' touchdown, Boston Scott a touchdown, courtesy of a Johnson fumble, and Really, that was the ball game. The Eagles put together an extended drive of 91 yards in the third quarter that capped this one off. But San Francisco, although they did get Brock Purdy back, he couldn't throw the ball when he came back in the second half. Never amounted to much offense all day. And the Eagles coast home to a 31-7 win in the NFC Championship game and punch their ticket to their fourth Super Bowl appearance all time. After the game, the guy who plays right tackle for this team and doesn't ever give up the sack, Lane Johnson, caught up with our own Ross Tucker. Lane, I know you're dealing with a heck of an injury, man. You completely shut out both today. How are you feeling? How'd you do it? Uh, I mean, I, think about him, man. He can build up a lot of power. So really, something to take that it's hard to do is absorb the force. So after like the first couple of bull rushes, I got a little bit more comfortable, and then my whole thing's getting off the ball quick, man. I, I know they were complaining over there on that side, but really, when you have a, a good pass rusher like that, if they get a guy turned, that's when they can make him, uh, you know, they can get around the edge, but. Yeah, I mean, he, he got the best out of me today. Uh, yeah, man, he's a beast. You were doing it all game in terms of jumping the count, man. It was yeah. hilarious. All right, how about the run game? I mean, I thought you guys would be able to throw it on him. I didn't think you'd be able to run it. Three rushing touchdowns the way you guys did it. Four. Yeah, it, was, uh, it, it wasn't It was pretty the first half. The second half, gained a little bit more momentum, started picking up the pace. But the second half is when we started wearing him down the run game. So, like I said, man, this team, we've we won multiple ways during this year. Uh, we found a way to do it again. Thanks so much, man. Go enjoy. Yes, sir. Let's go back to the studio. All right, thank you, Ross. Eagles get just 269 yards of total offense, but San Francisco just 164 total net yards. Brock Purdy, four for four on the day for just 23 yards. This is not the way he expected this fairy tale to come to an end. I'm just so sad for the older guys, everyone, all the guys that have been through this. You know, they, they've obviously been to the Super Bowl in 19 and then last year in the NFC Championship. And then for this to happen, it's in the first drive, really, of, man, like, this is the kind of game we have to play after the first drive. And I'm just I'm just frustrated. But it's more sad for those guys than anything because they, they, they deserve to go, to win, and to win the whole thing. So the season comes to an end for the 49ers, for the Eagles with a second-year head coach in Nick Sirianni and a second-year full-time starter in Jalen Hurts. 
It is a trip back to the Super Bowl. The number one seed advances from the NFC. Our halftime score in the AFC Championship game. Kansas City 13, Cincinnati 6. This is Westwood One's coverage of Conference Championship Sunday. When it comes to sports betting, the best thing you can do is to have a game plan. Before you place a bet, make sure you know the game and how it works. Set a limit for how much time and money you want to spend. And never borrow money to place a bet. And if you need to, team up with a friend who can help you stick to your game plan. Remember, you're playing to have a good time, so never chase your losses. Stick to the game plan and know the signs of problem gambling. Learn more at oasas.ny.gov. Good news, New Jersey. More residents are getting quality, affordable health coverage through Get Covered New Jersey. Established by Governor Murphy, Get Covered New Jersey offers increased plan choices and more savings than ever. Open enrollment is here. If you need health insurance, now is the time to enroll. Nine in ten people get financial help for plans that include preventive care, prescriptions, emergency services, and more. And many pay $10 a month or less. Find your plan at getcovered.nj.gov. Streaming only on Peacock. From the mind of Ryan Johnson, the writer-director of Knives Out. Miss Kale, you've got this gift. Always knowing the truth. I only know if something is a lie. The real trick of it is to figure out why. Natasha Leone is Charlie Kale. No, wasn't an accident. I think there's been a murder. Do you watch too much Dateline? A new 10-part mystery series. Rolls on my fender. I gotta keep moving. I've been kind of a death magnet. Poker Face, streaming now, only on Peacock. Oh, Dancing crew, trip for two, nailed the final interview. Game with Doug, brand new mug. Come here, kid, give me a hug. The more you want to do, the more we want to do. New COVID-19 boosters designed for recent Omicron variants are now available. Learn about eligibility and schedule a free updated booster today at vaccines.gov. Sponsored by Pfizer and BioNTech. Fourth and one for the Chiefs. They break the huddle. 359 to play. First half. 6-3 lead for Kansas City. Moving pocket. Mahomes looking. Right side. Throws. End zone. And he delivers 14 yard score. The Chiefs add to their lead. Patrick Mahomes with a bad ankle, Travis Kelsey with a bad back. And right now, that's the difference in the game. Welcome back to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One from the Progressive Insurance Studios. I'm Scott Graham. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive save nearly $700 on average. Call or click today to find out if Progressive could save you hundreds on your car insurance. Don't forget to join us two weeks from today at Super Bowl 57. Kevin Harlan, Kurt Warner, Gene Steratore, Mike Golick, and Laura Oakman have all the excitement live from Arizona beginning at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll kick off our pregame coverage at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Log on to westwoodonesports.com for details or listen to the live stream for free. If it's the Super Bowl, it's on Westwood One. Our halftime score, Kansas City 13, Cincinnati 6. When we return, Ian Eagle and Tony Baselli will have the second half kickoff. You're listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One. If you don't know your numbers, you don't know your business, especially in today's economy. But over 33,000 businesses do know their numbers because they use NetSuite by Oracle. NetSuite gives you visibility and control of your financials, planning, budgeting, and inventory so you can manage risk and improve margins. Everything you need, all in one place. See why NetSuite is the number one cloud financial system. NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind flexible financing program. Head to NetSuite.com slash touchdown. NetSuite.com slash touchdown. Southern recipe. Pork rind. Nothing goes better with football than pigskin. So celebrate Pork Rind Appreciation Day this football season with the bacon crunch of Southern Recipe Pork Rind. Get a low-carb, protein-packed pork rind snack that's as tasty out of the bag as it is in your favorite keto-friendly recipe. Find your rind in the snack aisle today or at southernrecipe.com. Southern Recipe Pork Rind. Available in the snack aisle at your local world market today. The Venture X card from Capital One gives you premium travel benefits. Perfect for seeing Taylor Swift The Eras Tour. Presented by Capital One. Oh, I do love her. Earn five times miles on flights and ten times miles on hotels through Capital One Travel. Enjoy your stay in Suite 13. Whoa, 13? That's Taylor's lucky number. The Venture X card from Capital One. 
What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. It's been 2,109 days. Dude, Rihanna, we waited it's for you. It's been over six years since the nine-time Grammy winner. Rihanna, Rihanna lost all everybody. Where have you been? We've been empty. Allegedly, the last time we got her, we were anti-26 and everybody has been outside. Rihanna, 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 Rihan
It was an all-hyphenated matchup. Very well said. But it's perfect coverage by the Bengals. And Taylor Britt, stride for stride with the speedster, Valdez Scantlin. So Tommy Townsend will punt it, standing at his own nine-yard line, waiting for the snap from Winchester. Deep man is Trent Taylor at the 30. No pressure. High kick. Angling towards the right side, moving forward. Taylor's got it at the 34. Makes his move upfield along the right sideline, and he is dropped at the 38-yard line by Marcus Kemp on special teams. So that went about as well as Cincinnati could have hoped for. 44-yard punt. Five-yard return. They'll have solid field position when we come back. 13:29 to go in the third. It's 13:6. KC. This is Westwood One's coverage of Conference Championship Sunday. Hey, I'm Andy. If you don't know me, it's probably because I'm not famous. But I did start a men's grooming company called Harry's. The idea for Harry's came out of a frustrating experience I had buying razor blades. Most brands were overpriced, overdesigned, and out of touch. At Harry's, our approach is simple. Here's our secret. We make sharp, durable blades and sell them at honest prices for as low as $2 each. We care about quality so much that we do some crazy things, like buy a world-class German blade factory. Obsessing over every detail means we're confident in offering a 100% quality guarantee. Millions of guys have already made the switch to Harry's, so thank you if you're one of them. And if you're not, we hope you give us a try with this special offer. Get a Harry starter set with a five-blade razor, Weighted handle, shave gel, and a travel cover. All for just three bucks, plus free shipping. Just go to harrys.com and enter code FRIEND at checkout. That's harrys.com, code FRIEND. Enjoy. Town Fair Tire became New England's number one discount tire dealer by giving you the absolute lowest prices guaranteed. And with over 100 stores from Connecticut to Maine, we'll beat anybody's price. Other dealers, we beat them. Warehouse clubs, we beat them. Online sites, we beat them all every day. So remember, for the absolute guaranteed lowest price on name brand tires, nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Good news, New Jersey. More residents are getting quality, affordable health coverage through Get Covered New Jersey. Established by Governor Murphy, Get Covered New Jersey offers increased plan choices and more savings than ever. Open enrollment is here. If you need health insurance, now is the time to enroll. Nine in ten people get financial help for plans that include preventive care, prescriptions, emergency services, and more. And many pay $10 a month or less. Find your plan at getcovered.nj.gov. Back in Kansas City, along with Hall of Famer Tony Baselli, Laura Oakman, I'm Ian Eagle here on Westwood One. You're listening to the AFC Championship game presented by Intuit TurboTax. Rogerius Sneed officially out with a head injury. It happened very early. Kansas City has played the youngsters, Jalen Watson and Joshua Williams, in his place at cornerback. First down at the 38-yard line for Cincinnati. First possession of the second half for the Bengals. Burrow throws it to the right sideline, and it's caught by T. Higgins. Good enough for nine and a half yards. They're going to place it just short of a first down. Well, for the Bengals, remember, Tyler Boyd went out in the first half, and he was questioning the return, but looking at the receivers they rolled out on first down in the second half no Tyler Boyd so that's not a good sign he had two big catches in that first half so Maje P. Ryan in the backfield with Burrow operating from the gun they will stack three receivers left one to the right they need a yard they got it big hole second and one P. Ryan drills through it as he ripped through a couple of would-be tacklers, turns it into a seven-yard gain. Good blocks up front from Bolson and Carmen to help spring Piran loose. And now they're on Kansas City's side of the field. Well, last week it was Mixon. This week, you know, Piran is the more effective back, averaging six yards a carry on three carries. Mixon for six attempts, only eight yards, 1.3. Lined it up at the 46-yard line, right hash. 12.25 to go, third quarter, 13-6, Kansas City. Receiver to the far side, play action, Burrow looking to run, Burrow will slide just across the 45-yard line. Colin Saunders forced him out of the pocket. They're going to give him a modest gain of two. Now this is another case of where the coverage is really what led to the pressure. 
We saw that a couple times, you know, four to, two to four sacks, a really covered sack. This time Burrow, again, nowhere to go with the ball, steps up and gets it just past the line of scrimmage before he flies and gives himself up. After the slow start, Burrow has really picked it up, 159 yards through the air. P. Ryan in the backfield, second down and eight. Chase, motion man, he'll loop around Burrow, now sets up to the left side. Hand up, P. Ryan, right side run, trying to bounce off a tackler, cannot. Colin Saunders holds up well. And they limit Piran to a two-yard game. Yeah, I think they're a little out of sorts there because Irwin is the slot receiver, and he looks like he's confused of what he's supposed to do on that play. And I believe he's probably supposed to try to get the uh, strong safety support, that safety coming down in the box and for one support. He just kind of stood there looking around. And Tony, that's where Tyler Boyd probably exactly would have lined right. up. Exactly right. Exactly right. Third down and six. They go empty. Dime package here for Kansas City. Line of scrimmage, the 42. It's a run by Burrow. Up the middle. Angles to the right. He's got a first down. And Brian Cook comes up injured on the play for Kansas City. Can't put any weight on his left foot. 11-yard quarterback keeper. Uh, this is planned from the beginning. And this is something Zach Taylor, I promise you, game planned all week. He had two wide three techniques. So both A gaps are wide open. The D tackles are wide. Your ends are wide. And Joe Burrow sees that defensive uh, alignment and just takes off from the quarterback's draw. New set of downs to work with at the 31. Pitch it to the near side. It's Mixon. Cuts it upfield to the 30. And he is brought down at the 28-yard line by Mike Dana. Another injured chief on the play. I think that is that Willie Gay down? It is. Yeah, he can't he he comes from the backside and dives trying to bring down Mixon, and I could not tell what injured him. I think it might be an upper body injury because he's reaching out with his hands and he kind of got swung shot around Mixon when he tried to make the tackle. It was a four-yard gain. Gay is on his back at the 32 with the medical staff surrounding him. We will step aside. 10-10 to go. Third quarter. Kansas City in front. 13 to 6. You're listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One. The NFL playoffs are here, and the easiest way to get into the action is with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. New customers get started with $150 in free bets, guaranteed when you place your first $5 bet. Just sign up with promo code WIN. FanDuel has all your favorite bets from the money line to point spreads to player props, all on an app that saves secure and super easy to use. Place your first $5 bet to get $150 in free bets, win or lose, with promo code WIN. Make every moment more with FanDuel. An Official sports book partner of the NFL. 21 plus in select states must be president in select states. The way to first online real money wager only. Bonus issued as download for all the free bets that expire in 14 days. Restrictions apply. See terms at sportsbookfanduel.com. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit fanduel.com slash RG. For Colorado, Iowa, Maryland, Michigan, New Jersey, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Virginia, West Virginia. 1-800-NEXT-STEP or text next step to 53342 in Arizona. 1-888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org slash chat in Connecticut. 1-800-9-WITH-IT in Indiana. 1-800-522-4700 Wyoming, Kansas or visit ksgamblinghelp.com. 1-877-770-STOP Louisiana. 1-877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY. 467-369 in New York. TN Redline 1-800-889-9789 Tennessee. Everyone knows time is money, so don't wait weeks for the IRS to send out your tax refund. Go to Jackson Hewitt instead for up to $3,500 with a no interest, no fee, tax refund advance loan. With up to $3,500, you could bring home the bacon and bring it home today. Money now instead of later, that's worth its weight in gold. Don't wait weeks for your refund. Go to Jackson Hewitt today. For eligible clients, loans by Republic Bank and Trust Company, details at jacksonhewitt.com. Iron Eagle, Tony Baselli here in the Granger Broadcast booth in Kansas City. The smarter your plays, the more wins you get. Granger's huge selection of supplies and solutions for every industry gives your business smart plays to win. Call, click Granger.com or stop by. Well, potentially serious injury for Kansas City. Willie Gay will be replaced by Darius Harris. We'll get you an update as soon as we have it. Meanwhile, Cincinnati is working their way down the field now at the 27 yard line trailing 13 to 6 temperature is down to 19 degrees wind is picked up about 15 miles per hour this is a second and six for the bengals shotgun curl fix the handoff steps throws he's hit as he throws it's incomplete he was looking for wilcox he got thrilled by chris jones 
Yeah, Chris Jones came to this game with no career playoff stats, and he got one early, but he's been all over the place. Run game, pass game, another nice pass rush there, and he's just hammering Burrow, and he's getting double teamed. He beats the double team, and that ball is off target because he had the face mask of Chris Jones in the back of Burrow as he's throwing. Cincinnati will work out of the shotgun on third and six with a four receiver set. Play clock is down to three. Burrow's got the snap. He sets. He fires to the right side. It is caught. T. Higgins floats into the end zone. Touchdown, Cincinnati. 27 yards. Perfectly arced. And the Cincinnati Bengals are an extra point away from tying this one up. You know, sometimes you just got to tip your hat if you're the defense and the defender. Because sometimes the quarterback's just that good, and the receiver, T. Higgins, in this case, is that good. Because Watson does not have bad coverage. But T. Higgins is just too tall, too long, and it's a perfectly placed pass. And Higgins goes up and snaps it out of the air for the touchdown. A rainbow just over the reach of Watson. McPherson tacks on the extra point. And we are tied at 13 apiece. 9.54 to go in this third quarter. You're listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One. Get in the zone, AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. Ah, thinking about gas mileage? If your check engine light is on, it may be affecting your MPGs. But the free AutoZone Fix Finder service can help. With the most complete free warning light report backed by technician verified fixes, you'll know what's affecting your gas mileage and more. And you don't have to drive too far to find the fix. The free AutoZone Fix Finder service is available at all 6,200 stores. Get in the zone, AutoZone. See details at AutoZone.com. Running your own business can feel a lot like running a one-person relay race. When you've got to expand your team, share the baton with Indeed. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates to your roster. With Instant Match, the moment you sponsor a job at Indeed, you get a short list of quality candidates from their resume database that fit your job description. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to get started today. That's Indeed.com slash credit. For the ones finding new ways to ensure the job always gets done. For the ones wearing many hats. For the ones who are hands-on, even from far away. And the ones keeping business moving forward. We are Granger, offering professional-grade industrial supplies, plus real-time product availability and access to experts ready to answer your toughest questions. Call, clickgranger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Nerd. At Nerd Wallet, we often see people blocked when making financial decisions. Take Harold. Coach, these credit card offers, they're everywhere. Harold, look, it's tough out there, but you have got this. With Nerd Wallet on your team, you will make the smartest play with side by side comparisons of top credit cards. Whoa, a card that rewards me for buying sports gear. Let's go get that cash back, team. Nerd Wallet, the smartest decision for all your financial decisions. Have questions about your insurance? State Farm is there for your what-ifs. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or go to statefarm.com to get a quote today. Well, there's no doubt that a team can take on the personality of its leaders. And Joe Burrow's personality is Joe Cool. And this Cincinnati Bengals team has a lot of those attributes because of him. They just never seem like they're out of a game. And you look up, it's 13 apiece. This crowd is stunned. The Chiefs now have to bounce back and deal with the pressure as the pendulum has swung the other way. Well, it's a team that Mahomes has never beat with Joe Burrow quarterback. And that starts to enter your mind at some point if you're on the Chiefs' sideline. Sky Moore is now the deep man, standing at the goal line with Evan McPherson setting up the football. It is now dropped off the tee, so that's an indicator of the wind which very well could be an issue before this night is through. 9.54 to play, third quarter. Kansas City did not cash in on early opportunities, settled for a couple of field goals. 
Cincinnati, no panic. That's just part of who they are. McPherson, the approach. And over end kick, he places it towards the right side. Moore moves forward from the five. There's an opening at the 20. It closes quickly, and he is tackled at the 23 by Marcus Bailey on special teams. A 19-yard return. You know, I'm, and right now, you feel the momentum and the energy on the Bengals' sideline. Even on that special team. I mean, their guys are flying down, big hits. They, got, they started the half with a three and out. Long drive, get seven. I mean, right now, this is an important drive for the Chiefs to make a statement. That's the answer. They may, need to make a statement here. Their last six offensive plays have totaled two yards. First and ten, Mahomes drops back. Pump, throw underneath, catch by Kelsey. And he is dropped at the 29-yard line by Logan Wilson, a good coverage linebacker that's good for six yards. Well, it's just so hard to take away Kelsey because... Not only is he a big man and athletic and great hands and everything else, he's really smart. He understands defense. He understands when to stay on the move, when it's man, sit it down in zone. So that's a good job by Logan Wilson, limiting the run out to the catch. Kelsey has passed Julian Edelman, second most playoff receiving yards in NFL history behind only Jerry Rice. Second and five. The throw to the right. It is incomplete and nearly intercepted by Taylor Britt. In a matchup with Hardman. And this Cincinnati defense is all pumped up. Oh, what a great break on the ball. And if Hardman doesn't get his right hand in there, that's a pick. Hardman actually breaks that up. And Patrick Holmes after the play says, Hardman, you got to come back to me. You can't just stop on the route. It's a comeback. Come back to the ball and not allow the defender to undercut it like Taylor Britt did. Kansas City is one of six on third down. They are O of their last four. This is a third and five. Mahomes moving pocket to the left. Throws on the move and hits his man at the 40-yard line. The connection made with Hardman for 11 yards. Mahomes is not moving that well, though. He's jogging back towards the huddle, and he's having problems. Jermaine Pratt put some pressure on Mahomes, and Hardman is down on the play. Yeah, Hardman took a, took a really big hit. Remember, he was out last week, and watching Mahomes as they treat Hardman, he looked fine on the play. He was actually very mobile, working to his left, did what very few people can do, going to your left and throw it back to the middle of the field. But after the play, you can see the grimace on his face as he's trying to get back to the huddle. Breaking the action, 8.58 remaining in this third quarter. We are tied at 13. You're listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One. Monster.com helps you tackle the job search and make your next career move. With great coaching and millions of job openings, Monster.com empowers you to score your next position and win the job hunt. Get off the sidelines and go to Monster.com today. If you don't know your numbers, you don't know your business, especially in today's economy. But over 33,000 businesses do know their numbers because they use NetSuite by Oracle. NetSuite gives you visibility and control of your financials, planning, budgeting, and inventory so you can manage risk and improve margins. Everything you need, all in one place. See why NetSuite is the number one cloud financial system. NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind flexible financing program. Head to NetSuite.com slash touchdown. NetSuite.com slash touchdown. I wanted to know why some people who get COVID-19 get it so bad. I found out it may be because they have a high risk factor, such as heart disease, diabetes, being overweight, smoking, and asthma. Even if symptoms feel mild, these factors can increase your risk of COVID-19 turning severe. So if you're at high risk and test positive, there are things you can do, like asking your health care provider if an authorized oral treatment is right for you. Learn about an option at TreatCovid19.com. This message is sponsored by Pfizer. When you bundle your renters and auto insurance with Progressive, you could save money, but it doesn't cover any terrible memories living rent-free in your head. Remember when one of your best players got injured, but not like on a play or anything? He got injured celebrating a play, and it's not like it was a game-winning play or in the playoffs, and he was out the rest of the season because he was injured while celebrating? Yeah. Sorry, we can't save you from that memory, but we could save you money bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Coverage from Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and third-party insurers. Renters insurance and bundle discount not available in all states or situations. With
when you need auto parts, O'ReillyAuto.com is just a few clicks away. Order online and pick up curbside at your local store. Visit O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Rihanna returns to the spotlight at the Apple Music Super Bowl 57 halftime show. Sunday, February 12th, watch on Fox. Listen to her iconic hits in spatial audio on Apple Music. Do you like Rihanna or do you like Rihanna? Whatever you say, Bob. <laughs> I think it might be Rihanna, but I'll go with the popular pronunciation. 8.51 to go in the third quarter. Kansas City with a football. First and 10. Flip it. Left side. Caught by Kelsey. And he's toppled down as he crossed the 45-yard line. Hit by Eli Apple after the five-yard game. Yeah, just a little quick throw to, off the play action pass to Kelsey who comes across the formation behind. And Apple does the right thing. But still, that's a painful tackle. He goes low but catches a spy right in the shoulder pad. Apple got up, but a little bit slow. The big man trying to bring down the open field, Travis Kelsey. Updates you on the previous injury. It was Hardman who did walk off on his own power. And Marcus Camp is now lined up on offense. Mahomes, it just the gate was not smooth. Mahomes, pump, throw to the near side, caught by Valdez Stanley. He's got room across midfield, 45. Stutter step move, 40, and dumps out of bounds. Working the sideline. Good block from Noah Gray. That's a 24-yard catch and run. Yeah, this is the drive the Chiefs needed after the Bengals tied it up. And give the offense line the credit there. No rush at all. And remember, this is the Bengals defense that pressured Josh Allen last week on 39.5% of the dropbacks. Right now, the Chiefs offensive line is dominating, giving Patrick Mahomes all the time he needs. They're going to mark it just inside the 30 at the 29-yard line. Two receivers left, one to the right. Handed off. McKinnon tries that right side, and he is hit immediately. A gain of one, and McKinnon a little slow to get up. Mike Hilton got his body in there for Cincinnati. Well, they had the nickel blitz on first down, and Hilton just comes from the backside. McKinnon never sees him, and no chance. And Jared McKinnon is a elusive guy, but you have to see who you're trying to avoid, and Hilton got, got him from behind. Smith-Schuster by himself on the right side. Two receivers to the left. Now Kelsey will join Smith-Schuster on the right. Mahomes steps up in the pocket. Mahomes buying some time, but not enough of it. He's brought down. He gains two, but he had Josh Tupo all over him with Sam Hubbard applying the initial heat. And, you know, and every time you see Mahomes have to move around and there's traffic around him, you just, you hold your breath if you're a Chiefs fan because of that high ankle sprain. Now, the good news is he got up, he was fine, no issues, but he is uh, not 100%. And we saw it early in this drive of him trying to get back to the huddle after he did have to scramble. Third down and seven. 6.15 to go in the third. We're tied at 13. Kansas City moving from left to right in this third quarter. Line of scrimmage is the 26. Pacheco in the backfield. Mahomes will take a timeout. Play clock is down to one. Stops the clock with 6.07 to go in the third. Send it downstairs. Check in with Laura Oka. You're talking about how uh, how Patrick Mahomes doesn't look quite right with that ankle, but as you guys were talking about, Hardman came in with a pelvis injury. He was on the injury report list all week. Since he left, he's been just walking up and down that sideline, talking to athletic trainers. No one's touching him. No one's working on him. Just trying to stretch out and look so frustrated as he's doing it, but just walking, stretching, leaning over, trying to get in there. And that was part of the speed that Tony was talking about earlier. Uh, you lose a Tyreek Hill. You're not going to replace him. No. But Hardman provided some of that vertical threat. Valdez Scantling, the other that we just saw on that catch and run. Third down and seven after the timeout. Kansas City has two remaining. Kelsey initially sets up slot right. He was going to shift out of it. Now remains in it. Cincinnati crowds the line. Two receivers left. Mahomes throws underneath, catch made, Valdez Scantling trying to get to the line, and it's going to be just short. He extended the ball out, but it's not like breaking the plane. Six yards, hit by Taylor Britt and Von Bell. He could not quite get to the marker. Yeah, good job. Oh, he reaches it out. 
And before his knee down, that ball is reached out. And, but I think they got the spot right. It's just short of the 19, and he had to get to the 19 to get the first down. The Chiefs, lucky they didn't get called for 12 minutes of the huddle. And I think they're going to have to call another timeout. If I'm Andy Reid, though, I don't think I burned this. I kicked the field goal. But he's going to. This is now not great. Oh, he's challenging, excuse me. But still, I think this is a tough one to challenge. We'll see. Kansas City has challenged the ruling of the field that the runner did not make the line to gain. The previous play is under review. I hope, on the I hope CBS has the down-the-line view, and that's what we're seeing right now. I don't know if it's enough to overturn it, Ian. These are always tough ones for me. This close shave instant replay review sponsored by Barbasol 1919 Classic Shaving Cream. A fresh take on the original. This new non-aerosol formula features enhanced ingredients and exceptional glide. Learn more at Barbasol.com. Breaking the action, 5.23 to go. Third quarter, tied at 13 apiece. You're listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One. I wanted to know why some people who get COVID-19 get it so bad. I found out it may be because they have a high risk factor, such as heart disease, diabetes, being overweight, smoking, and asthma. Even if symptoms feel mild, these factors can increase your risk of COVID-19 turning severe. So if you're at high risk and test positive, there are things you can do, like asking your health care provider if an authorized oral treatment is right for you. Learn about an option at TreatCovid19.com. This message is sponsored by Pfizer. Finding quality candidates for your small business is no Little League game. That's why Indeed can help you cover all your hiring bases. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and interview quality candidates. With Instant Match, the moment you sponsor a post on Indeed, you get a short list of quality candidates from their resume database that fit your job description. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to expand your team today. That's Indeed.com slash credit. Hello there. My name is Seychelle, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is the punch of flavors that's unlike any other. You get the crispy tenderness of the chicken and that hint of sourness from the pickles. Ta-da! <laughs> Hey, I'm Juan, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is you know you're going to get chicken that's crispy, golden, and juicy. This is the gold standard of chicken sandwiches. Order the original Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich on the Chick-fil-A app today. Real customers paid for their testimonials. The Venture X card from Capital One gives you premium travel benefits. Perfect for seeing Taylor Swift The Eras Tour. Presented by Capital One. Oh, I do love her. Earn five times miles on flights and 10 times miles on hotels through Capital One Travel. Enjoy your stay in Suite 13. Wow, 13? That's Taylor's lucky number. The Venture X card from Capital One. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. Along with Tony Baselli and Laura Oakman, I and Eagle here on Westwood One. You're listening to the AFC Championship game presented by Intuit TurboTax. Andy Reid challenged the call on the field, which initially was ruled shy of the first down on the extension by Valdez Scantling. They looked at it. They have given him the spot, and it is enough for a first down. Yeah. I don't know about that call because it's not like the goal line. You made this point where it breaks the plane. Okay, touchdown. The play's still going, and he pulls it back. Until the whistle blows. Yeah, I would have thought the ball's where, where the whistle blows. And that's the conversation Ron Torbert is having right now with 39-year-old head coach Zach Taylor. And this is an extended back and forth. The ball right now is placed at the 19. It would be a first down for Kansas City at the 19. Andy Reid is out of challenges. Second challenge, he's done. They do not lose the timeout, of course. So KC still has two timeouts remaining. And Zach is looking for a little more context. Ninth play of the drive. It started at the 23. Two runs, six passes so far. Motion man, Sky Moore to the near side. Hand up. Pacheco trying to get to the left edge and cannot. He got bottled up by Jesse Bates out on the perimeter. And he'll be limited to a gain of one. Clock is moving down to 5.38 to play in the third. Yeah, that's a great 
great tackle uh, by Jesse Bates coming from the safety position. He comes inside out, and it looks like Pacheco might be able to get the corner. But then Bates lays out, gets him around the ankles, and brings him down. We'll call it second and eight, 520 mark, third quarter. Pacheco remains in there, shotgun for Mahomes. Two receivers right, two to the left. Pacheco vacates the backfield. Mahomes looks. Mahomes tries to fling it to the left side. It's caught by Pacheco. Bangs into a defender, Eli Apple. Sam Hubbard was just about to bring Mahomes down as he got rid of it at the last moment for five yards. I'd like to look at that again. Mahomes scrambles right. Hubbard's on him. His, his, his knee's down. He is down by contact. New York should call in and do the quick. And the flag's out already. Yeah, Zach Taylor threw the red flag. But you know how New York can call down to Ron Hubbard and say, hey, you guys missed it. Let's get it right right away. And it's clear Mahomes' knee is down before he throws the ball. And we're watching Mahomes walk to the sideline. He's not moving well. It's not a smooth game. No. After discussion, the quarterback was down by contact before he threw the ball. There is no challenge from Cincinnati. It's going to be third down. So this is assisted from New York. They don't have to throw the challenge there, but I recognize for head coaches, they want to make sure that the officials know. Yeah, because you don't want Mahomes to get on line of scrimmage and play fast and no one does anything, but it's it's not even close. I mean, he's knees down, and he's not even really started the shuffle pass. So it's going to go down as a sack for Hubbard. Back at the 19-yard line, a loss of two. Third down and 10 for Kansas City. 4-28. Left to go in the third quarter. Clock is moving. We're tied at 13. Pacheco in the backfield. Two receivers right. One to the left. Mahomes out of the pocket. Throws on the move. Downfield to the end zone. Valdez Scantling is there for the touchdown. In a sitting position, he hauls it in. Kansas City regains the lead. A 19-yard BB from Patrick Mahomes. Well, I guess the ankle's okay because he's under a little bit of pressure right there. Has to step up with bodies and traffic all around him. And I'm glad he had enough on it because Hilton was closing in, tries to undercut it, but there's enough on it for Mahomes to get to Valerie Stantling for the touchdown. Harrison Butker on for the extra point. 11 plays, 77 yards. Butker cuts it on. And this Chiefs crowd is going bananas. Breaking the action. Kansas City 20, Cincinnati 13, 4.15 to go in the third. You're listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One. It's the final days to save big store-wide at the truckload event at Lowe's. Right now, get deals on select major appliances and take home what you buy same day. And save an additional 10% on all in-store clearance appliances. Plus, get savings on even more items across the store, like up to 40% off select bathroom products. Hurry and head to your local Lowe's store or visit Lowe's.com to shop the truckload event today. Exclusions apply. While supplies last, selection varies by location. See Lowe's.com for details. About 126 through 2A. Patrick Mahomes normally celebrates with his teammates. After making that throw, he basically one-legged jogged to the sideline and took off his helmet and put the coat on. He's, he's special. He really is I mean, special. He's just special. This guy's out here. He's got a high ankle sprain. I mean, I've, it's I've had, legit. I've had one. They're as painful as any injury. I mean, they're miserable. Butker, the kick is over the head of Williams through the back of the end zone. Coming out to the 25-yard line, Mahomes is now 20 of 28, 238 yards, two touchdowns. Kansas City has got the lead with 4.15 remaining in this third quarter. Mahomes, conference championship games. It's his fifth. He's got 14 touchdowns <laughs> in them. Tom Brady has got 21 in 14 conference championship games. It's unbelievable. It's insane. He just passed a, a Hall of Famer all-time great, Joe Montana, who had 13 he was tied with. I mean, he, he just said it. He's special. And guess what? This guy for the Bengals, Joe Burrow, 
he's also special. Now, this has become a legitimate rivalry very quickly. The Bengals and the Chiefs toss it to Chase. Right side one. Chase got hit down low by McDuffie and will pick up three and a half yards on the play. All right now, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is Westwood One, your home for the NFL playoffs and Super Bowl 57. WFAN, WFAN FM, WFAN FM HD1, New York. Always live on the free Odyssey app. Cincinnati has used that bubble screen quite a bit to Jamar Chase. Second down and seven for Burrow from the gun. Steps up in the pocket. Burrow backs up and throws it away. Right sideline over the head of any intended receiver. Carlos Dunlap applied some of the pressure on Burrow, and it's third and seven. But it was in the direction of Hayden Hurst. So even though he was still in the tackle box, it's not pat, it's not uh, intentional grounding because of general direction. I mean, Hayden Hurst had no chance to catch it, but at least went towards him. Last year's AFC Championship, Burrow went for 250 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. This is a third and seven with 3:33 remaining in the third quarter from the 28-yard line. Shotgun. Burrow, rush coming, Burrow unloads to Chase over the middle, catch made, and Chase works his way to the 45, but a flag down back at the 21, and this one's coming back. It appeared Mike Dana was held. Offense to the 67, 10-yard penalty, third down. It is the rookie Cordell Volson out of North Dakota State. Yeah, he's working against Dana, and... He does the old clothesline on Dana. He, Dana has a nice rip move to the outside and also just stops his feet. you got to keep your feet moving. And because as soon as they stop, you're dead. And he has his arm wrapped around Dan, uh, Dana's neck, and it's an easy call for the official. Justin Reed, the safety, just left the field for Kansas City. That was a 19-yard pickup. It's negated. And now Cincinnati faces a third and 17. With 3.22 and ticking left in the third. They need another 19-yard pickup right here. From the 18-yard line, Burrow, shotgun, three receivers left, two to the right. Gets the snap, deep drop, steps up, two is left on the move. Burrow looking, searching, the pass is dropped at the 40-yard line. Looking for T. Higgins, Juan Thornhill in coverage. And the Bengals will punt it. That's a good job of defense right there. No one open. No real pass rush. But Burrow working to his left. Throws it, but it's it's McDuffie who gets a piece of it. And the ball kind of ricochets just slightly to the inside. So T. Higgins can't go back and make it. If McDuffie doesn't get a fingertip on it, that's probably a first down, Ian. You nailed it. It changed the trajectory just enough. Sky Moore, the return man. Christman, the punter. Up in the air, line drive, Moore's got it for 41, flag thrown. Tries a juke move, loops around to the left side, he's got the sideline, into Cincinnati territory. Moore caught from behind, across the 35-yard line by Joe Bocci. But a penalty marker all the way back at the 33, Kansas City's end of the field. Yeah, most likely this coming is coming back. Guy Moore, the rookie out of Western Michigan, second-round draft pick. They're pointing in the direction of KC. 26-yard return. Not a great punt, another line drive. During the kick, holding by the receiving team, number six. Ten-yard penalty from the end of the kick. And I and that, that hold was on the complete opposite side of the field, had no bearing on the return. It was on Brian Cook. Let's go downstairs. Check in with Laura Oakman on the sidelines. Boy, there's a lot going on right now, injury-wise. The good news is that Willie Gay came out from the locker room. He's been gone the whole time. He's back on the bench, but right now he is listed questionable with a shoulder injury. But as I'm getting that report, Juju Smith-Schuster ran back into the locker room, and he is now questionable with a knee injury. All right, we mentioned McCole Hardman going through some stuff as well. Mahomes throws it to the left side, and it's over the head of Sky Moore. Matched up with Eli Apple. So because of Juju Smith, McCole Hardman, Sky Moore now seeing reps 
on offense. Yeah, you're going to have some younger guys having to play and also brought up from practice squad. You might see Marcus Kemp out there as well. And remember, Kadarius Tony left the game Good with early. an ankle issue. Yep. That's three of their top receivers out of the game. And so now for the Bengals, I think you've got to double Kelsey as much as possible and let one of these backup receivers try to beat you. They're using Fortson in the slot to the right. Mahomes looks to the left side. He flips it. Catch is made on that left side by Pacheco, but he's quickly brought down by Jermaine Pratt. Gain of two. We're down to 237 and counting. Left in the third. Kansas City up by seven on Cincinnati. Well, that's great athleticism by Pratt because he's at an inside linebacker position and Pacheco, who we've talked about all night, is a speedy, explosive back out of the backfield, and Pratt tracks him down. It looks like Pacheco might be able to turn the corner up the Bengals' sideline, but Pratt made sure that did not happen. Pacheco had 95 rushing yards last week in his playoff debut, that 27-20 win over Jacksonville in the divisional round. Third and eight, Mahomes, deep drop, steps up, throws on the move, floats it, complete Valdez Gatling. Catches across the 45. He just shook his head, indicating you can't guard me. 25 yards. Hilton is limping after the play. We got a flag behind the scenes. It was Kelsey and Hubbard going at it. As Kelsey stayed in the block. If it stands, it's six catches, 116 yards. Completed catch for first down after the play was over in sportsmanlike conduct, taunting offense number 77. A 15-yard from the end of the play. It's first and 10 Kansas City. It is Andrew Wiley. So Wiley was working against Hubbard, and I thought that Kelsey went out, and he did. But then at the end of the play, Wiley is going at it with Hubbard, and then Kelsey gets down there. And you see afterwards Wiley's doing a little bit of a dance. Come on. Save the dances for the defensive guys. Yep. Andy Reid just pointed to his head, indicating to Andrew Wiley, use your head. That's right. Now, the touchdown was Valdez Scantling. That's a big play, Valdez Scantling. Both man coverage against Hilton. Valdez Scantling's winning that matchup right now. Back it up to the 43. Mahomes fires it. Low throw. Couldn't be handled by Sky Moore. Right along the numbers on the right side. Incomplete. 139 to go in the third. Mahomes is trying to work through the pain, bending his knees, flexing when need be. But this has been laborious for Patrick Mahomes in that high right ankle spray. And that's just a bad throw. And you saw this last week against the Jaguars. He lost some accuracy when his when he hurt the ankle. It's his back foot. That's what he drives off of. And you can see there he was not comfortable driving. He lifted it up early and that ball fluttered to the inside. Second and 10 from the 43-yard line. Blitz is on. Mahomes over the middle. It's handled by Kelsey. It turns it upfield for a first down. Across midfield, good for 11 yards. I mean, give this Chiefs offense a ton of credit. The offensive line's doing a great job. They're down three receivers. You got Kelsey, who's a world beater. They had Noah Gray, their other tight end, lined up as the slot receiver. We're looking for bodies right now, Ian. Clock is going to wind down. We're going to hit the one-minute mark of this third quarter. Kansas City is in Cincinnati territory at the 46-yard line. They lead it 20-13. to 13. First down for the Chiefs. Mahomes lost the ball. Mahomes couldn't get it back, and Hubbard jumps on top of it. Mahomes tried to pass it to the right side and lost it. And the ball was just sitting there. Mahomes could not recover. Yeah, he went to throw it, and he loses it before it even starts coming forward. Now, it's cold, so your grip's not is going to be as good, but Mahomes is used to playing in the cold weather. His big hands, no issue, but he just flat lost it. And remember, in the wild card round, who had the big fumble recovery? Now, this isn't the 98-yard touchdown, but again, it's Hubbard coming up with a big play when they needed to. The quarterback lost control of the ball before his hand came forward for fumble. Recovered by the defense, first and 10, Cincinnati. Yeah, he just flat out lost it. He was trying to grip it, and this was a football folly. First turnover for the Chiefs, a big one for Cincinnati taking over now in Kansas City territory. 
and you know what happened there, Ian. It's a run play. And so he, Pacheco can, he can hand off Pacheco, but he has the option if he has an advantage outside, he can pull it and go to Valdez Scantling. He tries to go too fast, so he really never has a good handle on it, and when he brings it up, you can see he doesn't have a normal grip, and the ball just comes loose. Shotgun for Burrow with Mixon to his left. Line of scrimmage is the 45 in Kansas City territory. 55 seconds to play in the third. Bengals down by seven. Burrow, short toss. There's room. Catch made. Zigzag move made by Mixon. And he's hit down low as he comes up just short of the 40-yard line. Trent McDuffie with the tackle. It's a gain of five. I thought he beat McDuffie to the outside. Give McDuffie credit. Kept on fighting. He's actually on the ground, Ian. And he reaches out his left hand at the last minute and gets the shoe top of Mixon. Otherwise, Mixon turns the corner and probably picks up seven to ten more yards. Patrick Mahomes is pacing the sideline, talking to his offensive linemen, trying to keep everybody optimistic and positive, but he's still not moving well. Second down and five, ten seconds to go in the third quarter. Take the handoff. Burrow will throw it at the feet of Mixon because of the pressure from Chris Jones. Stops the clock with seven seconds left in the third. Yeah, Burrow, Burrow wished he had more pressure. It's a screen. The problem is no one else rushed but Chris Jones. Everyone else recognized the screen. They're sitting at the line of scrimmage. Well defended, setting up a big third down here. Probably the last play of the third quarter. The ball is spotted just inside the 41 along the right hash mark. They break the huddle with a single receiver to the right. It's T. Higgins. Two receivers to the left. Extra tight end, so strong side left. And P. Ryan in the backfield. Shotgun. Burrow zips it to the near side. Cut by P. Ryan. Makes a move to the 40. And that's it. Hit by Joshua Williams. Help from Trent McDuffie. The drive will stall there at the end of the third quarter with the score, Kansas City 20, Cincinnati 13. You're listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One. It's the final days to save big store-wide at the truckload event at Lowe's. Right now, get limited-time deals on your favorite tools and accessories. Plus, get 10% off in-stock kitchen cabinets with a $1,000 minimum purchase. And save even more on clearance cabinets in-store. Hurry and shop the truckload event in-store or online while you can. Must ask cashier to apply discount at time of purchase. Exclusions apply. Walk supplies last. Selection varies by location. See Lowe's.com for details. About 126 to 2 age. Running your own business can feel a lot like running a one-person relay race. When you've got to expand your team, share the baton with Indeed. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates to your roster. With Instant Match, the moment you sponsor a job at Indeed, you get a short list of quality candidates from their resume database that fit your job description. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to get started today. That's Indeed.com slash credit. Wendy's knows that everybody hates cold and soggy fries. That's why Wendy's changed their fries to serve them up hot and crispy every single time. That's right. Hot and crispy guaranteed or they will replace them with natural cut skin on potatoes. Every order of hot and crispy fries is prepared to golden goodness and perfectly sprinkled with sea salt every time. Head to Wendy's today to get your hot and crispy fries and make every day a Friday. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's. Tonight's forecast of the AFC Championship game on Western One, sponsored in part by Nerd Wallet, by Barbasol Shaving Cream, by Monster.com, by Progressive Insurance, by KFC, and by NFL.com. I'm Eagle, Tony Vaselli here in the broadcast booth downstairs. Laura Oakman standing by on the sidelines. I, I've had my, one eye on this game, one eye on Patrick Mahomes' ankle every time he comes off the field this whole game. This last drive, when he came back off the field to the sideline after that turnover, is the first time he's been moving that leg, that right leg up and down, moving that knee up and down, trying to just, uh, just trying to stretch that leg or trying to test that ankle out. I sat with Lou Anarumo watching him during warm-ups in the pregame, and what Lou said was his ankle looks really good right now, but what we want to see is fourth quarter, how does it look when the adrenaline runs off? No doubt. Huge storyline coming into this game. Mahomes has played through it. We start the fourth quarter 
Chiefs have a 20 to 13 lead. Cincinnati facing a fourth down and six, and they're going for it at the 41 yard line. Burrow working out of the gun. Two backs surrounding it. Burrow will throw it. Deep ball on the way. It is pulled in by Jamar Chase in double coverage. Caught at the six. Watson and Cook there, and they can't stop Chase. 35 yards on the hookup. Well, Chase working man to coverage against Jalen Watson, but he has safety up over the top with Brian Cook, but Chase just goes up and makes the play, and Burrow just trusts him. I, I got to be honest, though, Ian. If I'd had time to talk before the snap, I would have said, I don't like this call. A one-possession game, fourth and six, pin the Chiefs, but give that to uh, Taylor credit. He trusted his quarterback. Longest play of the day. First and goal at the six. Toss to Mixon, that left sideline, and he is veered out of bounds. Justin Reed helped make sure he couldn't get to the goal line. They will pick up four on the play, set it up at the two. I mean, what a big play. Burrow to Chase because if you don't convert that, you give the Chiefs offense on their own 40, good field position, you know, in a one possession game after Mahomes just kind of carved you up on the last uh, drive. Second and goal from the two yard line for Cincinnati. Looking for the equalizer. Burrow, shotgun, P. Ryan to his right, motion man Higgins to the left. Takes the snap. Hand off, P-Line, trying to bulldoze, they will push him in! Touchdown, Bengals! Cincinnati, an extra point away from tying this one up. Whatever it takes, Cincinnati has answers. They've answered every time, they've answered, they answered last year, they have answered all this year, it's a heck of a job, and... Herman does the last push of Pirine to get him across. But give Sharpie credit. Working against Chris Jones, he pushes Chris Jones into the end zone. That's a heck of a block against the best defensive tackle in all football. It has been the play of the 2022 season. Push to tush. McPherson, the extra point. It's good. We are tied at 20. Thirteen and a half to play. Fourth quarter. This is Westwood One's coverage of Conference Championship Sunday. Diabetes, high blood pressure, anxiety meds, everyone's on them. If you're a 50-year-old male, maybe a bit porky, and you may even have type 2 diabetes, a million dollars of term insurance may only cost you about 200 bucks a month. Call Term Provider. Speak with Big Lou at 800-700-6898. Big Lou will find a term life policy for you even if you have type 2 diabetes, are overweight, or have high blood pressure. Term Provider has helped thousands of people like you who think they can't afford term life insurance. To buy a million dollars of affordable term life for you, all you need to do is call Big Lou at 800-700-6898. Lou will make sure the scales are tipped in your favor. Call 800-700-6898. Big Lou will answer your call and work to fit you into a term life policy that you can afford. Remember, Big Lou's like you. He's on meds, too. Call 800-700-6898. 800-700-6898. Are you the type of person who always expects a little more out of life? Then it might be time for a new Kia Telluride X-Pro. With its redesigned grille, headlamps, and trim, this SUV is stylish enough to stand out in any setting. With its high-end tech and available surround view monitor, it's equipped to make your life easier in all different ways. With its class-leading cabin room and available second-row captain's chairs, it's comfortable enough to have you always dreaming of your next excursion. And with its high ground clearance and upgraded traction control system, it's rugged and capable enough that the trip doesn't have to end when the pavement does. With all of these premium updates and more, there's no doubt the Telluride X-Pro can take you beyond your expectations and beyond that. The new Kia Telluride X-Pro. Welcome to a new elevation. To learn more, visit kia.com slash Telluride today. Kia, movement that inspires. Quantities limited, cabin space claim based on a comparison of mid-sized SUV class segmentation using manufacturer supplied data as of September 2022. Surround view monitor may not display all objects around the vehicle. No system, no matter how advanced, can compensate for all driver error and or driving conditions. Always drive safely and use caution. 
Along with Tony Baselli and Laura Oakman, I'm Ian Eagle here on Westwood One. You're listening to the AFC Championship game presented by Intuit Turbo Tax. 20 apiece. 13 and a half remaining in the fourth quarter here at Arrowhead Stadium. What a battle this has turned out to be. Kansas City got off to a good start, but didn't cash in early. Had to settle for field goals. And it has come back to bite them a bit. Cincinnati has found its footing, certainly in this second half. And now Evan McPherson will kick it off to the deep man, Pacheco. One yard deep in the end zone. He's going to take it out right side along the numbers to the 10. Cuts it inside to the 20. Leaves his feet for a moment. Gets dropped at the 22 by Bailey on special teams. Downstairs to Laura. I feel like every time you throw down to me, any Chiefs fan is like, please don't make it an injury report about our wide receiver group. It seems like that's what I'm talking about all night. Kadarius Tony has officially been ruled out with that ankle injury. Yeah, not a big surprise. Uh, Tony was on top of it right away. That it just didn't Well, you could see it when he planted. It was a non-contact. His I, I couldn't tell his knee or ankle, but you could see his leg buckle, and immediately he hobbled off the field. From the 22-yard line along the right hash mark, that's where Mahomes and the Kansas City offense takes over, tied at 20. Mahomes in the pocket. Mahomes throws underneath. Catch made by Sky Moore, and he is brought down by Eli Apple to pushing and shoving at the end of the play. A two-yard pickup through the air, and Eli Apple chirping to the Kansas City sideline. Yeah, Lou Anarumo, the defensive coordinator for the Bengals, has been aggressive. He brought the blitz again with Hilton, but they're not getting there. They're not impacting... But Mahomes enough, they have to try to get home, and Mahomes has just been too good with the ball, getting it to the soft spot in the zone or the guy who beat the man cover. Three receivers to the right. Chelsea now shifts inside slot right. Mahomes pass it to the right side, caught by Pacheco. Pacheco, an aggressive move on a spin across the 30. He will be just shy of a first down, a seven-yard pickup, but he runs with a purpose. He runs with a purpose. I'm going to give Logan Wilson some love. Logan Wilson tackles with a purpose. That's two men going right at each other. But you love Pacheco because what he does, he sees the two defenders, and he doesn't juke. He tries to split them, and that's why he got the couple extra yards. Pacheco was limping just a bit, remains on the field, sets up in the backfield on third and one. Tight formation, more the motion man, handoff Pacheco. He will hammer it for a first down. Not by a whole lot, but it is enough. Needed a yard, got two, and that will move the chains across the 30-yard line. Well, that was second effort because he stood up. Again, it's Logan Wilson coming off. You have Pratt there. DJ Reader does a good job at the point of attack initially to bounce it outside. And it is, boy, he barely gets it looking at the replay, but it's all the effort of Pacheco. So they set it up in between the 32 and 33 yard line, left hash mark. We're down to 11.24 remaining in this fourth quarter. AFC Championship, it's a rematch from last year. Shotgun, Mahomes on a give, Pacheco dances the right side and runs into a wall, driven backwards after the gain of one. Just about everybody on that front involved for Cincinnati. Boy, the Bengals not worried about the pass there at all. I mean, Jermaine Pratt, I mean, it's, I mean, he recognizes it so fast. He is coming downhill and is able to get into the backfield. And then you're right. It wouldn't have mattered even if Pratt's not there because that defensive front for the Bengals stood up the offensive line of the Chiefs. McKinnon replaces Pacheco. We've got motion to the near side from Kemp. Second down and nine. Play clock is down to three, down to two. Shotgun Mahomes gets the snap off, drifts back, steps forward. Mahomes throws at the last moment. Low throw, caught by McKinnon. No, they'll rule it incomplete. Too low, it hit the ground. Osai put the pressure on Mahomes with trying to bring him down. And Mahomes, at the very last moment, released the football. Yeah, he's working against Orlando Brown Jr. And give... Brown credit because he's done a good job against Henderson today. He's not called his game very much. But that time, 
Osai just beats him with a little shake and speed to the edge, and Orlando Brown just did not get his hands on it. Kansas City has converted its last five third downs. This will be a third down and nine, but the officials come in and will stop the action with 10.29 to play in the fourth. I didn't see a timeout by either coach. There might have been a placement issue, but how is there a placement issue on an incomplete pass? Please reset the play clock to 10 seconds, please. 10 seconds. The play clock and game clock will start at last signal. Well, the Chiefs better get out of the huddle then because they're huddling up. And here they go. Look at that 10 seconds. They blow the whistle. Play clock is moving. We're down to six, down to five, a third and nine. Kelsey on the right side. Mahomes looking left. Mahomes steps up. Uncorks it underneath. It's caught by Kelsey, short of a first down at the 40. He picks up five yards. Von Bell was digging at the football, and Mahomes will gingerly walk to the sidelines as Kansas City will punt it away at the 10-16 mark. And a lot of chirping down there, and the Bengals need to be smart here. Just get off the field. You got to stop it. It's Trey Flowers who is chirping at the entire Chiefs offense, but that's a good job by Von Bell, Von Bell, excuse me, and that back half of the Bengals secondary that Mahomes wanted to go down the field. He had plenty of time. No one open. Something. Something. The ball was bad. The play was shut down. The clock should not have started. Please reset the game to 10 minutes, 24 seconds. With 10 seconds on the play clock, we will start the play clock on my signal. Game clock will start on the snap. 10.29 on the game clock. It will start on the snap. Thank you. Wow, that is a break for the Chiefs. Was this a complete mulligan? I, I mean, what is going on here? The play never happened. Yeah, but they didn't stop the play. They let it go. If I'm Zach Taylor, I am losing my mind. I mean, this is the AFC Championship game. You can't let that happen if you're the officials. And they followed instructions. If you remember Torberg's previous announcement. And now Torberg's going to walk the long walk over to Zach Taylor, who is animated, to say the least, on the sideline. And he is saying, what in the heck is going on here? The play went through. You sat there. No one came in and stopped the play. And it wasn't like, I mean, Mahomes is in the pocket three or four seconds, dropped to Kelsey, both teams go off the field, they're lined up for the punt, and then they come in and say, oh, sorry, we messed up, let's do it again. Yeah, Zach Taylor is losing his mind. He is screaming at any official that's even near him. He's ripped off the headset. He's still trying to get Torbert's attention. Kansas City's going to get another chance here on third and nine. Shotgun. Mahomes in the pocket. Mahomes steps up. Mahomes slams down. Ball don't lie for Cincinnati. B.J. Hill with the hammer. But a flag at the 49. Yeah, they're going to get defensive holding. In the, and it's an automatic first down. And holding. Defense number 20. Five-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Eli Apple, and this is a huge moment in this game, and I promise you everyone in New York's going, um, this is not the best look in the AFC Championship game to give the Chiefs multiple opportunities. Now, looking at it's a penalty. I mean, Eli Apple holds Valdez Scantling. No doubt about it. The officials got that right, but they blew the, the situation on the first third down, and so now it's first down for the Chiefs. And the Bengals are hot. Line of scrimmage is the 39 of Kansas City. Ten minutes to go. Fourth quarter. Handoff. Pacheco. And he is hemmed in. Josh Tupo, first man there. Forward progress will get him a gain of one to the 40-yard line. It'll be second and nine. And you know what you hate, Ian? This has been two great teams, two great quarterbacks, well coached. Going at it, we have a tie game in the AFC Championship game. And right now, the officials are the score. And they don't want to be it. I'm not putting, I mean, but it's just not what you want. Second down and nine, 9.36 and counting, left in the fourth. 
tied at 20 and 20. Cincinnati and KC. Play action. Pass. Kelsey juggles and drops it. The ball was out there. Taylor Britt was in the area. Kelsey upsetted himself that he didn't haul it in. Cincinnati would have tackled him right after the catch, but either way, it's third and long. Now, this is another opportunity for this Bengals offense. The pass rush has not been that effective tonight. I would say the offensive line of the Chiefs is winning that battle, but third and ten, this is where pass rushers can pin their ears back and go after them. Third down and nine. Trips to the right with three receivers, single receiver to the left, and a stoppage. First charge, timeout. Cincinnati. So the Bengals will have two remaining. 9.30 left on the clock. Hey, a reminder that you can hear Westwood One's coverage of tonight's game and Super Bowl 57 stream live for free. All sponsored by AutoZone. It's time to say good night to that check engine light with the free AutoZone Fix Finder service. It'll help troubleshoot the likely cause of your light for free. Restrictions apply. Get in the zone. AutoZone. You know, the Bengals didn't like something with their alignment and based on how the Chiefs broke the huddle. It was interesting for the first time that I noticed they had Sam Hubbard standing up in the way at the linebacker level. We're only rushing three. And here they go again. Sam Hubbard's back there. We'll see what he does. Kansas City has converted its last six third downs. Four of those have been at least third and seven. This is a third and nine. Shotgun Mahomes. Three receivers right. Mahomes rush coming. Uncorks it. Incomplete. Over the middle. It was off to the side of Valdez. Scantling behind him. And it's fourth down. Yeah, I think that's just another miss by Mahomes. Because I thought he had Kelsey if he wanted them. We're going to get Taylor Britt on the crosser underneath. He also had the next level crosser, Valdez Gantling, who was also open. And Mahomes just threw it behind him. I'm not sure what happened there. You don't see Patrick Mahomes make that throw very often. So the Bengals somehow survived that bizarre sequence. The punt from Tommy Townsend, no rush. Trent Taylor waits for it under it and brings it in cleanly at the 18-yard line with a fair catch. 42-yard punt, no return. Cincinnati gets the football back with 9.18 to play. In the AFC Championship game, we are tied at 20 and 20. You're listening to the AFC Championship on Westwood One. Is that a horse? Actually, it's a wild stallion. Since Navy Federal Credit Union's Platinum Card made it easier to tame our holiday debt, I wanted to see if I could tame something else. Uh-huh. Help me saddle up. Ugh. I need to pick the kids up from school. With a low intro APR on balance transfers, the Platinum Credit Card lets you take control of your debt. Learn more at NavyFederal.org slash Platinum Offer. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Insured by NCUA. <laughs> Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. It's O Rewards Bonus Points Month at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Shop in store or online to earn points and get rewarded at O'Reilly Auto Parts. O, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. You don't have to be from the West to live the West. You just need the spirit, the confidence, and the style. And that sense of adventure that comes with each new day. Wrangler, for the ride of life. Shop our newest styles today at Wrangler.com. Welcome back to Kansas City, along with Hall of Famer Tony Vaselli and Laura Oakman. I'm Ian Eagle, together with Navy Federal Credit Union. I'd like to thank you for joining us for tonight's broadcast of the AFC Championship game on Westwood One. Give an extra special shout-out to the over 1 million men and women in uniform stationed around the world in military bases and ships at sea defending our nation. Navy Federal Credit Union proudly serves the armed forces, the DOD, veterans, and their families, our members, are the mission. Learn more at NavyFederal.org. 
I'm getting texts from Amsterdam, Tony. Worldwide coverage here on Westwood One. That's what we do. That's just what we do. Not an NFL Europe fan, an NFL fan. That's right. In Amsterdam. Yeah. Locked in. Great city, too. Really good food, man. Fourth quarter action in the AFC Championship game, 9-18 to play. First and 10 at the 18 of Cincinnati. Fake the hand up. Burrow, deep drop. Out of the pocket. Moving to his right. Burrow will sling it. Ball is juggled and dropped. Incomplete. He tried to hit Wilcox. It would have been a collision. And a flag thrown back at the 7. Yeah, they were mugging Chris Jones. Chris Jones again getting penetration in the backfield. I couldn't tell which offensive lineman, but they were... Um, hugging, holding on for dear life, anything you can holding. think of. Offense number 64. Seven is half the distance for the goal. He's in first down. It's veteran Ted Karras. Won a couple of Super Bowls with New England. Yeah, he, Chris Jones beats the Karras to the, to the right, and then Sharpie tries to help, and they, they could have called on either guy. They're both. Holding on to the big man, and the big man was running right through him. Easy call for the official. So now it's first down and 19, half the distance to the goal line. Back at the nine-yard line. Burrow, quick toss, over the middle, caught by Irwin, tries to curl it, and he is brought down at the 15 after the gain of six by Nick Bolton, the linebacker. Yeah, he just pick it right down the middle. The linebacker is going to get a ton of depth because of the down and distance. Still no really gay in, though. And if you're Joe Burrow here, you don't have to get it all. You want to try to set up a third and short to medium. Second and 13 from the 15. P-line lines up to the left of Burrow, operating from the gun. Two receivers left, one to the right. Burrow looks left. Burrow is going to run. 15, 20. Burrow avoids a tackler, and he spins down just short of the 30. Good enough for a first down. Nick Bolton had a chance to bring him down. Burrow makes him pay with a 14-yard run. Yeah, Frank Clark rushes way up the field against Carmen, and Bra Burrow sees it. There's no one open. And then in the open field, puts a little wiggle on Bolton, and there is no chance. Joe Burrow's sliding in that situation. Reed comes in and hits him right in the side, but Burrow gets up. First down. Shake and bake from Burrow to the 29-yard line. First and 10. We're down to 7.47 to go. Pitch it. Mixon, quick move to the right. Mixon's got a lane, and he lowers the shoulder to the 35-yard line, just inside the numbers for six. Time to gear up for Super Bowl 57 in Arizona. Head over to NFLShop.com today for the largest assortment of officially licensed gear and championship merchandise. The shop styles fit for everyone. Go to NFLShop.com. Yeah, that was the best run by Mixon all day. Before that run, he had seven carries for 12 yards. Picked up six on that one alone. Second down and three. Coming up on the seven-minute mark of this fourth quarter. Burrow, shotgun. Pass rush holds up, and the throw is knocked up in the air. Right side, incomplete. Jamar Chase in a matchup with Joshua Williams. And it's third and three. I thought Jamar Chase could have got the pass interference if he, if he kind of plants that foot because Williams is never looking at him. And he's kind of starting to run through him. But instead, Chase kind of just continues to drift. The ball actually hits him right in the head. He just can't get his hands up. There is some contact, but not enough to throw the flag. So it's third down and three with 7.02 to go. From the 36-yard line of Cincinnati. From the gun. Burrow. Step. Throw. Deep shot on the way. It's knocked up and picked off. Off the bounce. Williams steps in. Brian Cook got a piece. Kansas City takes over. You know, there's never a good interception, Ian, but that's not a bad one. It's third down. If they don't get it, they're going to punt anyway. And giving the ball to the Chiefs on their own 14 is not the worst thing. Burrow trying to get it all with uh, T. Higgins, but really, really good defense. 
underneath. The ball tips up. Burton's the one who tips it. And then the interception from there. Give credit to Higgins. He made the tackle. So, to your point, Tony, Kansas City doesn't have very good field position. They do take over at the 14 on the second INT of the night for Joe Burrow. Higgins, the intended receiver on the play. Cook was the one who got a piece. First down at the 14. Mahomes on a give. Pacheco running right up the gut. He crosses the 15. He'll pick up a couple hit by Jermaine Pratt along with B.J. Hill for Cincinnati. And boy, this uh, Cincinnati defense, really both defenses have done an outstanding job against the run today. That's only 33 yards of net rushing for the Chiefs. The Bengals only have 68. Give credit to both defensive the front. Second and seven. Shotgun Mahomes. Pacheco in the backfield. Mahomes. Pump. Mahomes tosses. Hits his man at the 28-yard line for a first down. It's Marcus Kemp off the practice squad and making a big play for Kansas City for 13 yards. Yeah, Mahomes in the pocket. No real rush, but he starts to step up. And you can tell he's not 100% confident with that right ankle, but he throws the ball off every platform. I mean, <laughs> he gets rid of it. And, and the angles he throws, that's kind of back behind him. His body's on left. He swings it to the right. He's remarkable. Ten different players with at least one catch. Mahomes shovels it ahead. Hits Sky Moore. Makes a move to the outside. And Moore is dropped as he crossed the 35-yard line by Jermaine Pratt. Again, unconventional from Mahomes. Not your typical pass. Mahomes recognized he had to do a little something different. Yeah, it's a good job. You know, we see this from Mahomes all the time. little push pass. And you talked about 10 different receivers today. During the season, I am he threw touchdown passes to 11 different receivers on the year. I mean, he is really good at spreading the ball around. Are they as dynamic as they once were? No, probably not. They were still the number one total offense in the NFL, number one scoring offense. Mahomes throwing to the near sideline. Broken up. Valdez Scantling in a matchup with Hilton. And a flag down at the 49. Was that ball tipped will be the question. Well, I think they're going to get him for wrapping his right arm around the waist and turning the receiver. Defense number 21, black foul, automatic first down. I'd like to see this one again. It's a little sprint to the left. There's no tip ball. The boy. It's really close. I don't know if he turned it enough. But definitely the right hand is wrapped around the waist. You see that called all the time. Third penalty against Cincinnati in the quarter. Kansas City has not been penalized in the fourth. Line of scrimmage is down to 45. We are under five minutes to go in a tie ball game. Mahomes from the gun. Dumps it to the near side. Caught by Pacheco. Pacheco with a little juke move. Gets away. Down the sideline to the 40. And he's out of bounds. How did he do it? Jermaine Pratt had a chance to bring him down. And Pacheco turns it into a 15-yard catch and run. That's a heck of a play by Pacheco just running through two different tacklers. And this is a Bengals team that was the second-best tackling team in the NFL. Second fewest missed tackles, but that's a big one right there. And now you start looking at the clock, too, and We're starting to get down to the four-minute mark with the Chiefs on the move. Pacheco took his helmet off and went directly to the Kansas City sideline. The Chiefs have it at the 39 of Cincinnati. McKinnon is in. They give it to him. McKinnon trying to break away, circling to the left, and he is caught. Could not get away from Joseph Osai. Our score here in Kansas City, the Bengals 20, the Chiefs 20. You're listening to the AFC Championship game presented by Intuit Turbo Tax. Loss of three on the play. Kansas City now facing a second down and 13. We're down to 3.37 to go. Operating from the 42 along the left hash. Shotgun Mahomes. McKinnon joins him in the backfield. Two is left. Three receivers right. Mahomes out of the pocket. Steps up. Mahomes trying to run, and he does not have a whole lot of room. He'll get a gain of one. That's it. The acceleration is not there for Patrick Mahomes. Osai with another tackle. And now you start 
kind of doing some math and seeing how far do they need to get to get in Buckner's range. Remember, it's cold out there, and the wind is whipping. We're looking at, I'm looking at the flags at the top of the stadium. They are completely stretched out, whipping in the wind right now. So I think they got to get it to at least the 32-yard line for a comfortable field goal, which would be 50 yards, and there's no gimme from there. Yeah, right now they'd be looking at a 59-yard attempt. Shotgun, Mahomes on third and 12. Drips back, steps forward. Mahomes shovels it out for McKinnon. And a flag down as he catches at the 38-yard line. Penalty marker back at the 43. Mahomes was moving forward, moving forward. I think I'd decline this if I'm Zach Taylor and see if Andy Reid wants Offense. to try to kick one. Offense or penalty. Yeah. It's Creed Humphrey. And it's Creed Humphrey. One of the best key centers in football, and he gets locked up and grabs the shoulders of DJ Hill as he's trying to get away. That's a that's a tight call. I mean, they're calling pretty tight there to call that holding, but technically he's, his hands are outside the framework of the body, and it would have been he could down to Cincinnati has elected to decline that holding penalty. Play well, there you go. That yeah. that was your thought process, Tony. Well, that's right because you're looking at he caught how I'm not sure the ball can be spotted at the 41. They would have backed it up to the 49. Yeah, and they have it spotted wrong. It should have been at the 30. Yeah, now they're fixing it. I'm like they were inside the 40, so it's a call it at the 37 and a half, which would be. A 55, 56 yard field goal, which they're going to say, we're not going to try to do that because nope. in this weather, with this wind, I just don't think Butler has the leg to do it. I don't think anyone does right now. So Tommy Townsend is on the front of the way for Kansas City. We're down to 2.36 to go. On a fourth and eight, no rush. Townsend trying to pin the Bengals deep. The ball angles along the right sideline and out of bounds. And now it's just a matter of where they spot it. It's going to be the seven-yard line. So a 30-yard punt, and the Bengals will take over. Iron Eagle, Tony Baselli here in the Granger Broadcast booth in Kansas City. Clutch players come through when games are on the line. So does Granger with supplies and solutions that your business can count on to help get big jobs done. Call clickgranger.com or stop on. And I, they've moved it back a yard inside the six, and those of the football is touching the six. So that's the starting point for Cincinnati. Two and a half remaining, tied at 20. Shotgun. Burrow in the pocket. Throws on the quick hitter. Hits his man T. Higgins left side. He dives. Looking for the first down. It is very close. Had to get across. The 16 yard line, they're going to place it at the 16. It's good enough to move the chains. If I'm Zach Taylor, I let this thing go down the two minute warning. You have plenty of time, two timeouts. Why rush anything here? But it looks like Burroughs going to try to get it off before the two minute warning. We're down to 202. 201. Nope. Two minute warning. Yeah, I think he was trying to see if he could draw him offside. That's really hard to do when there's crowd noise and silent count. But that's the right decision by Zach Taylor. No reason. The clock is favorable to you right now. You want to try to end this with either a touchdown or a long field or a short field goal. We're here in Kansas City, and we have hit the two-minute warning. Tied at 20. You're listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One. I had a nighttime routine for my frequent heartburn. I would drink milk. I would sleep upright with more pillows. But that painful burning stayed. So I made Prilosec OTC part of my morning routine. With just one pill each morning, Prilosec OTC prevents excess acid production, blocking heartburn day and night. Now I have a new nighttime routine. I call it sleeping. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn with Prilosec OTC. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. They say they'll get your biggest tax refund. Jackson Hewitt says your biggest tax refund guaranteed. And a chance to double your tax refund. Thousands in weekly prizes. 
during the Double Your Refund sweepstakes. Your biggest refund times two, twice the money. So forget about them. File your taxes on the double at Jackson Hewitt today. No purchase necessary to enter or win. Open to U.S. residents 18 or older who file a 2022 federal tax return. Promotion ends 4 223 Visit jacksonhewitt.com for rules. Is your check engine light on? Let our professional parts people scan and diagnose the problem for free. Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Feeling great starts with a great shave. And a great shave starts with Barbasol Shaving Cream. That's Barbasol Shaving Cream, an American classic for over 100 years. You're looking good, America. You're shaving with Barbasol. Barbasol. We are knotted up at 20 apiece with two minutes to go in the fourth. A reminder, stay tuned for the Conference Championship Sunday postgame report on Westwood One, sponsored by Southern Recipe Pork Rind, Zero Carbs, High Protein. Find your rind in the snack aisle or at southernrecipe.com. We'll have the Lamar Hunt Trophy presentation. We'll hear from members of the winning team. Scott Graham will recap all the highlights and have post-game reaction from the NFC title game, Philadelphia, dominant victory 31-7 over San Francisco. The Eagles are in the Super Bowl. Who will represent the AFC, the Bengals or the Chiefs? Two minutes to determine it in regulation. Cincinnati breaks the huddle. Line of scrimmage is the 16-yard line. And a first down for the Bengals in their own territory. Shotgun, take the hand up. Burrow steps up. Burrow looking to run. Burrow caught from behind. He loses the football, but the play was over. Mike Dana got him down low right around the 19. They'll give him a gain of two, maybe two and a half. We'll see where they spot it. Yeah, ball, the clock's running. And, you know, no real pressure, but nobody open. And look at the replay. That's the right call. That ball is not out. He has control when his lead goes down. And now at 130, you got to start going a little faster. Mark him down at the 19. Second down and seven. 125 to play. Burrow tosses it at the ground because of the pressure. It was right in his face, and Burrow grabbing his wrist at the end of the play. He got hit by Chris Jones. Yeah, Chris Jones has been all over the place. And it's first, I believe, it's Saunders who gets there first, and then Chris Jones falls right on top of him. And they threw a flag saying illegal. it's either going to be illegal touching or... I don't think it would be intentional grounding because I believe Pirine was sitting right there, but it hit an offensive lineman first. And that's what they're going to ask Andy Reid. Does he want to take the penalty because it's not a loss of down with the illegal touching? Ron Torbert is trying to have that conversation with Andy Reid right now. Just nodded his head. Because if it was intentional grounding, there was no receiver in the vicinity of the pass. It's intentional grounding. On the offense, number nine. Penalty is half the distance to the goal. Lost it down. We third down. Well, I have no idea why Ron Torber is going over to talk to Andy Reid. It's obviously because he's lost it down. But I'm looking at the replay right now. As Burroughs in, is in struggle, yeah, I mean, I can see what he called it now. Initially, I thought he was trying to go to P line, but the offensive line just got in the way. But looking at it, he was just hoping he could get away with it. That is the right call by the official. And Tony, a 10-second runoff because Cincinnati did not use the timeout. So 1-12 to go in the fourth, a third and 16 for the Bengals. And now I think, you know, converting third and 16 is long odds. Get what you can so you can try to put the Chiefs in bad field position with a nice punt. Kansas City has seven defensive backs right now. With a minute 12 in the clock, the official backs away, will allow Burrow to call signals. Now the clock is moving down to a minute six, minute five. Cincinnati in no rush. They've got 15 seconds on the play clock. Snap, Burrow, step, throw to the near side. It is caught by Hayden Hurst for a first down. 23 yards on a strike from Burrow. That'll move the chains. I have no idea how Hayden Hurst got that open. It might have been McDuffie, the underneath coverage. He needed to get more width. There's no one in his zone, and he's just sitting there. If he gets the width, 
like he's supposed to, then that's not open. I was going to be critical of Joe Burrow for throwing, snapping it that early. I thought he should use more of the play clock. I didn't know Hayden Hurst would be that open. McDuffie got spun around like a top, couldn't recover. 54 seconds to go. Burrow, catch and throw to Hurst on the near side, and a short gain as he's hit immediately on the play by Reed. Two yards, 47 seconds left. Cincinnati's going to use one of its two remaining timeouts. A reminder that two weeks from today, it is Super Bowl 57 from Glendale, Arizona. You can catch all the action and excitement on Super Sunday on Fox. Check your local listings for more details. Of course, you can also hear Super Bowl 57 right here on Westwood One, beginning with a pregame show at 4 p.m. Eastern on most of these same stations on the NFL app or online at westwoodonesports.com. And I couldn't tell who made that tackle, but heck of a job by the Chiefs defensive back there to keep Hayden Hurst inbounds. He was fighting to get out of bounds and stop the clock. Forced Zach Taylor to use one of his two remaining timeouts. It was Justin Reed. The Justin Reed. Heck of a play by Justin Reed coming up. We know McPherson has the leg. He's proven that, but in this win, it's a tall order. I think he has to get to at least the 32. I think if anything beyond 50 is pretty low well off. From the 35-yard line of Cincinnati, shotgun on second and eight. 45 seconds left. Burrow throws too high left side over the head of Trent Irwin. Stops the clock with 44 seconds to go. It is third and eight for the Bengals. Well, a big defensive situation for the Chiefs right now because if they can get a stop, they're going to get the ball back with enough time to try to get in field goal range. And likewise for the Bengals, you're saying, hey, if we can pick it up here, we can pretty much start to think about controlling it and making sure we have the last chance to win it before overtime. 44 seconds on the clock. Third and eight for Cincinnati from its own 35-yard line. Shotgun. Burrow looking to his right. Burrow in trouble, and he is set by Chris Jones. He beats a Adeniji, and it's fourth down. Well, every once in a while, Chris Jones will wind up at the left defensive end. And that means the Denegy's one-on-one. And what a pass rush by a big man. A little bit of a shake and then powers the upfield shoulder, turns the corner. I think the only positive there for the Bengals was the sack force Andy Reid to use one of his two remaining timeouts. So... They're going to punt this away, 41 seconds. They're hoping for a good punt. But it looks like the Chiefs will get the ball somewhere around the 30, 35-yard line, maybe a little bit backed up more than that, with one timeout and call it around 30 seconds. Chris Jones had never had a playoff sack until tonight, and he's got two of them. And how about the tackle for the loss? How about the pressures? I mean, he has been disruptive and dominant like he has been all season. Drew Chrisman, the Ohio State product, will punt it. Cal Adamidas to snap it. Sky Moore, the rookie, is deep at the 26-yard line. Snap, no rush. Chrisman puts his leg into it. End over end. It takes Moore back to the 20-yard line. He's got a running start. To the 25, to the 30. Cuts it to the outside. 40, down the sideline. And he's out of bounds, just short of midfield. Big return for Sky Moore. 30 seconds on the clock. 27 yards on the run back after the 52-yard punt. Well, it's a great job against the Gunners, number one. And then they had the, they had the return on the whole time. They were not rushing, and they held up that Bengals front really well. So Sky Moore had all kinds of green grass and got that momentum going and showed his speed, able to turn the corner. Now the Chiefs are in great position to try to set up for a field goal. Kansas City has one timeout remaining. They've got the football at the 47-yard line. They're looking to get into field goal range to kick their way into the Super Bowl. Shotgun, Mahomes. Rushes on. Mahomes, pump and floater. Caught by Pacheco near side. 45. Oh, beautiful juke move at midfield. And he's tackled by two men at the 48-yard line. 19 seconds left. Five-yard pickup. And a timeout called by the Chiefs. Yeah, really nice job by Pacheco because he starts by chipping Hendrickson to help Orlando Brown. 
And that's a great job. So, you, so he stops the rush of their best pass rusher, and then he floats out into the flat and makes a great move. Right now, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is Westwood One, your home for the NFL playoffs and Super Bowl 57. WFAN, WFAN FM, WFAN FM HD1, New York. Always live on the free Odyssey app. Harrison Buckner is going through his mental preparations along the Kansas City sideline. Chiefs still have work to do. It's second and four. They put two seconds on the clock. 21 seconds left. Kansas City is out of timeout. We're tied at 20. Line of scrimmage is just inside the 48 of Cincinnati. Mahomes shocked up. Three receivers right. One to the left. Mahomes drops. Steps up. And he cannot get anything on the throw. It's incomplete. Osai and Hendrickson there to put the pressure on Mahomes. And the fact that he can't really use that right ankle to drive it is a legitimate factor right now for Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, it's a great rush that time. And coupled with good coverage. So Mahomes had nowhere to go and he's about to get sacked. He just can't take a sack here. No timeout. And it's even more importantly now, you try to work the sidelines as you get tackled inbound for 17 seconds. You have to hustle to get to the line of scrimmage. Third down and four. Play clock is down to three. Down to two. Mahomes has got the snap. Looks downfield. Mahomes avoids the rush. Mahomes down to ten seconds. Mahomes is going to try to run for the first down, and he will. Looping the right side. He gets out of bounds. Osai there, and a flag down. A late hit as body spilled out along that Cincinnati sideline. Osai might be injured. He might have caught a staff member along the sideline as well. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense number 58. Wow. 15 yards from the end of the play, automatic first down. It was a late push. Mahomes had already gotten there. Yeah, and looking at it, Mahomes is definitely out of bounds. I mean, that's the right call. And you just can't do that because you set up the Chiefs right in field goal range. And Andy Reid's not even going to take a chance because if he doesn't make that iron, yes, they get the first down, but they're not in field goal range, only eight seconds. And if he, I mean, it's no guarantee they're going to get a chance at a field goal. Now you're looking at, a, it's going to be a 41-yarder, I think, when they end up marking it, maybe 40. Well, they're backing it up a little bit. They're trying to determine the line of scrimmage. Eight seconds remaining. This is 45. No gimme in this weather, in this win. Eight seconds left. James Winchester will snap it. Tommy Townsend to hold it. We are tied at 20. 45-yard attempt. Looking for the lead. Buckner. Snap. Placement. Buckner's kick. He's got it! Kansas City in front with three seconds remaining. The Chiefs, 23. The Bengals, 20. A late hit on Cincinnati sets up Kansas City for a potential game winner. Three seconds remaining on the clock. And I am, that barely cleared the upright. I mean, that ball's high. You can see the wind hit it. And it's good by about three or four yards. And boy, that penalty, that rough, that late hit is going to haunt the Bengals for a long time. That hurt. Mistakes will kill you in big games, and that was the biggest mistake of the game. And Zach Taylor is sitting on the sideline just shaking his head in disbelief. Three seconds remaining. Well, you got to expect a squib kick here because 
Buckner's only kicked it out of the end zone once with this win, so if you're the Bengals, you're going to get a return here. But you got to looking for one of those Music City miracles that the Titans pulled off a long time ago. Ball is on the tee. Buckner approaches. It's a line drive. It bounces at the 24. Trenton Irwin scoops it up at the 10. Irwin will throw a lefty pass backwards caught at the 19-yard line. Taylor is getting tackled, and it is over. The Kansas City Chiefs are going to the Super Bowl for the third time in four years. The Chiefs win the AFC Championship and get revenge against the Bengals. 23-20, to the final at Arrowhead. It'll be the Chiefs and the Eagles in Super Bowl 57. Wow. What a game. I mean, two really good teams, two great quarterbacks, well coached. You hate that it came down to a mistake, but that's what you do. You keep on playing and give the Chiefs credit. They missed out on a bunch of opportunities early in this game. Bengals came back as you knew they would. You got Mahomes limping around the field, gutting it out. And when they needed to make a play, Mahomes, let's not forget, yes, the penalty put them into field goal range, but the gutsy run to get the first down on one leg by Mahomes. Let's go downstairs to Laura Oakman. I'm standing down here with Chris Jones with a big smile on his face right now. Chris, what does this mean to you? Every player I talked to this week kept saying this is a full circle moment. Not only would it mean everything to get to the Super Bowl, but to beat this team. You know, throughout the week, I've been letting my emotions build up. Um, came burrow ahead. My whole offseason was dedicated to this moment. God is good. It's a full circle. And we back, baby. Not only did you meet this moment, boy, did you take advantage of it. Not only did you have your first playoff sack, you had two of them. The pass rush, what you guys were able to do to Joe tonight, how did you do that? Um, hey, like I said all year, this group is resilient. Bro. Right. Up, bro. Um, this group is resilient. We got a lot of great guys in this room. Frank Clark, start one of them. Colin Sanders. We got a heck of a group. Um, the brotherhood is strong. The resilience. Uh, we was able to come out and dominate tonight. This is Arrowhead Stadium. Remember that. And I'm out. I was going to have one more question, but I think that was probably a good note. I was worried he was going to grab my mic and drop it. <laughs> I'm going to throw it off to you guys and see who I can get next. Laura, I think he's out. That's my sense. Think about the storylines that are coming up, Tony. You've got Andy Reid going against his old team, the Philadelphia Eagles. You've got the Kelsey Bowl with Travis and Jason going head-to-head. -head in the Super Bowl, and Mahomes trying to win number two as one of the best quarterbacks that we've seen in quite a long time. The fact that he's doing it, he's not himself. That high ankle sprain is serious, it's painful. He gutted it out, he led this team, he got them to where they needed to be. The Chiefs get it done a year ago. It didn't go their way. Cincinnati went to the Super Bowl. And this year, it will be a penalty that will be remembered. Joseph Osai is inconsolable along that yeah, sideline. Yeah, I was going to say that, Ian. He's still sitting on the bench with just one other, every other Bengals in the locker room. He is helmet on, head down. You hate it for the young, young guy out of Texas. You know, he's trying to make the play. Great effort. Just he made a mistake, and he's finally getting up the bench and heading in with. Cam Sample, who's hung out there with him. But back to the Chiefs. Great storylines going to Super Bowl. I mean, Andy Reid against the Eagles. The two Kelsey brothers, by the way, the best at their position. How about that for a tandem? Jalen Hurts, who's been outstanding this year. You know, maybe in the shadow of Mahomes this week just because of who Mahomes is, but he should not be because he's been great. Mahomes have two weeks to get the ankle healthy. I think we're in for a heck of a Super Bowl. The Kansas City Chiefs in dramatic fashion win it 
on a Butker 45-yarder. As we send it back downstairs to Laura. I'm with Travis Kelsey and deciding which brother I want to ask you about first. The one you're going to be in the Super Bowl with, Patrick Mahomes, or the one you're going to be facing in your real brother, Jason. Let me start with Patrick. You two are now the second most potent connection in playoff history. Passing Joe Montana and Jerry Rice tonight. How do you describe how you feel about Patrick in this offense? I love that guy. And it's a lot of hard work. Um, it's a lot of trust. With, uh, throughout the coaches, throughout this entire team. And um, you know what? We uh, we still got one more game to go. And uh, and right now we're fired up to be going there. All right, one game left. And normally I would say you haven't thought that much about your opponent. But, boy, besides the Chiefs, I'm thinking that you don't know about any team more than the Philadelphia Eagles. What does it mean to be facing your brother in the Super okay. Bowl? You know, uh, it's, a, it's a bittersweet feeling right now. I can't even, I can't even comprehend it right now. I'm just uh, I'm excited. I'm going to enjoy this win and uh, go to next week or go in, the, go in the Super Bowl next week. Travis, congratulations to you in Phoenix. Guys, back up to you. All right, Laura. The final score here in Kansas City, 23-20. to The Chiefs advance to the Super Bowl. When we come back with the postgame report, we'll have the presentation of the Lamar Hunt Trophy. You're listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One. I wanted to know why some people who get COVID-19 get it so bad. I found out it may be because they have a high risk factor, such as heart disease, diabetes, being overweight, smoking, and asthma. Even if symptoms feel mild, these factors can increase your risk of COVID-19 turning severe. So if you're at high risk and test positive, there are things you can do, like asking your health care provider if an authorized oral treatment is right for you. Learn about an option at TreatCovid19.com. This message is sponsored by Pfizer. Southern Recipe. Pork Rind. Southern Recipe is celebrating Pork Rind Appreciation Day by giving you a chance to win $5,000 and a year's supply of high-protein, low-carb pork rind in this year's Sack for Snack Sweepstakes. For a chance to win, enter at southernrecipe.com. That's southernrecipe.com. No purchase necessary. See official rules at southernrecipe.com. Southern Recipe. Pork Rind. Available in the snack aisle at your local world market today. Welcome to the Conference Championship Sunday postgame show on Westwood One. Sponsored by Southern Recipe Pork Rinds. The low-carb bacon crunch you've been craving. Find your rind in the snack aisle or at southernrecipe.com. Once again, here's Iron Eagle and Hall of Famer Tony Baselli. This was a fun one tonight in Kansas City. The Chiefs moving on to the Super Bowl, a 23-20 win over the Cincinnati Bengals. Celebration is on here in Kansas City. Most of these fans have not left their seats. Uh, they want to see this trophy presentation, the Lamar Hunt Trophy, aptly named for the former owner of the Kansas City Chiefs, still in the family, Clark Hunt. And the Hunt family, big part of this community. The Chiefs will take on the Eagles in Super Bowl 57. Fantastic matchup. And uh, you can make the case, yes, the two best teams in football. It was a collision course. Well, absolutely. Number one seed in each conference. You know, they had the best regular seasons. They, you know, the Eagles marched through the playoffs. The Chiefs survived. Had a tight game against Jacksonville. Tight, even tighter here tonight against Joe Burrow and the Bengals, but it doesn't matter how you get there. I think it's going to be a fabulous matchup because you figure that Patrick Mahomes, while not 100%, he's going to be 90-plus. Time is on his side. Time's on his side. And whatever percentage was he, he was today, I, it was good enough. I mean, the guy threw for 326, two touchdowns, 105 rating. I mean, he, he was dominant tonight. And maybe what impressed me as much as anything on the one leg, running for the first down that ended up getting an extra 15 because of a tough play by Osai. You hate it for the young man. But that's what got him the field goal. It was the guts, the determination of Patrick Mahomes sucking it up and playing through a bad angle. All right, time to choose the Wendy's player of the game. Who are you going with, Tony? 
Am I allowed to do one defense, one offense, or no, just one? I mean, here I'm going to go Patrick Mahomes on offense. I just talked about his stats. And then Chris Jones was dominant on defense. All right. They are the players of the game. Sponsored by <laughs> Wendy's. Wendy's fries are hot and crispy every single time. Natural cuts, skin on fries. Prepared to golden goodness. Perfectly sprinkled with sea salt. Just the way they should be. Choose Wendy's hot and crispy fries today. Tony, you're a Hall of Famer and you're very large. Who is going to stop you if you wanted to name two players of the game. Well, I didn't want Mr. Denneroff to dock my pet. <laughs> They've set up a large <laughs> stage at the 35-yard line of the right side of the field and two smaller podiums for cameras. And it's time to join Jim Nance of CBS on the field. The post-game celebration of the presentation of the Lamar Hunt Trophy to the Kansas City Chiefs. Third Super Bowl in four years. They are the AFC champions ready to match up with the Eagles in Glendale, Arizona. Thank you, JB. Kansas City, you're heading back to the Super Bowl. Another fantastic game between these two franchises, but we're here to present the Lamar Hunt Trophy and with the honors, one of the legends in Chief history, Emmett Thomas, it's all yours. Chief Nation, on behalf of the NFL, it's my pleasure to present the Lamar Hunt Trophy. Thank you. Clark, congratulations. This was another nail-biter in a game with a lot of grit on both sides, and your quarterback made an amazing play with his legs at the end. How about this team? <clears throat> They're unbelievable. Congratulations to all the players and coaches on bringing home another Lamar Hunt trophy. The Lord has blessed our family in so many ways, including with the best fan base in the National Football League, and there's nothing better than getting to celebrate this with you guys. Chiefs Kingdom, we're going back to the Super Bowl. Congratulations. Andy Reid, come on over here. How are you? Good. I heard someone on the broadcast already called this the Andy Reid Bowl. We've got Philadelphia, we got Kansas City, and what a thrill this must be for you to go back and then for them to be there on the other side. Congratulations having that back in your hands again. Oh, it's fantastic. Um, and there you go. Okay. How about those? That's what I'm talking about, baby. Back to the Super Bowl. The work's not done. The work's not done. We got a few practices there that we got to take care of business. But here we come, Philly. How did you do it? Your quarterback comes through with all the talk about what would he be able to do with the ankle. You, you lose so many guys on the outside, the receivers. You lose Snead early, and your team found a way at the end. How did you do it? Well, they did. It's a tough bunch. Uh, my heart goes out to them, man. They uh, tough guys. Uh, they worked so hard this week. Pat and Kels were both banged up a little bit, and they they pushed through. And uh, I mean, great things happened. We had the receiving core. <laughs> we were mixing and matching guys in there, and uh, uh, they sucked it up and did a great job there too. But. Our fans, man, our fans helped guide us through this thing, and we appreciate the energy that they gave us. And what a great job by our defense. Phenomenal job, Jim. Well, hopefully you got a couple of weeks to get everybody healthy. Congratulations, Andy, Tammy. It's going to be a super matchup down in Arizona. Well, we appreciate you, and proud to stand next to you right here, Jim. Thank, Thank you, Coach. I really appreciate you. Patrick Mahomes, come on over here. What did it take for you to put up that kind of performance here tonight? It took it, it took my teammates. I, I truly believe that, man. Um, just to come out here and battle against a great football team, it took everybody. I told our team in the locker room, it's going to be all of us. So we're going to play together. And that's what we did as a full team. And um, how about Harrison Bucker knocking through that field goal, baby? That's what I'm talking about. How about 
Travis Kelsey coming in here less than 100%. He gets to go against his brother now. We've got a Kelsey Bowl also down in uh, Arizona, and Travis comes up big again. And then you got Chris Jones, and then you make the play with your legs. There was seconds to go plus a penalty on top of it. What did you decide to do at that moment in time? Yeah, at some points in games, you got to just put it all on the line. And uh, I, the defense gave us a couple chances to get in field goal range. We didn't get in there. The defense got another stop for us, and I knew I was going to get there somehow. So I just I put it all on the line, and we got in field goal range. And uh, we're at Arrowhead now, and we're, we're in that AFC championship again. It, it is still called Arrowhead, last time I checked, right? Yeah, I don't know. Is this thing still called Arrowhead? What does it sound like out there? Legendary performance tonight, Patrick. Congratulations. And Travis, we look forward to seeing you and your brother square off. We've got to get out of here, but well done, my friend. <laughs> I appreciate that. How about this beautiful trophy? Huh? Hey, I got some wise words for that Cincinnati mayor. Know your role and shut your mouth, you jabroni. You got to fight for your right. Well, you knew that was going to come back at some point. Just didn't know if it would happen at this exact moment for Travis Kelsey after some fighting words from the mayor of Cincinnati. Uh, this is not Burrowhead. It is Arrowhead. And the Chiefs are going to the Super Bowl, and they're all pumped up for this matchup with Philadelphia. I love Kelsey. I love him because his personality is who he is, and he's a heck of a football player. And... That was great. And Patrick Mahomes, you can't say enough about Patrick Mahomes. And this Chiefs crowd is partying right now. And uh, what a scene here. I and you and I get to go through games in a lot of different places. I'm not sure there's a better atmosphere in the NFL than Arrowhead Stadium. There's a lot of great ones. A lot of great fan bases. But this one right here can argue with any of them. That it's the best. Well, Tony, you and I should know our parking spot was 12 minutes away, so we walked through the crowd to get here. And that's an experience in and of itself. You get the Beastie Boys on the back end. You got Travis Kelsey, who is as glib as anybody in the league. And you put that all together, and you have one of the truly special environments in this league. It's just great. I mean, listen, the NFL does great. There's so many great cities where the fans make it. A, part, a fun experience. And I love what Andy Reid said. He thanked the fans because the energy here. And being a player, Ian, playing in back in the heydays of Jacksonville, and we saw that again this year, and playing in Buffalo and Old Mile High and Great Stadium, the fans make a difference. And this Arrowhead group are loved by their players. We'll continue more of the postgame show from Kansas City. Once again, the final score, the Chiefs win the AFC Championship 23-20 to over Cincinnati. This is Western One's coverage of Conference Championship Sunday. At my age, I never dreamed I'd be dealing with opioid addiction. I was pregnant, and I couldn't stop. Getting sidelined by an injury was bad, but the cravings were way worse. Then I heard about 844-REACH-NJ. They connected me to treatment, and I had a healthy baby. 844-REACH-NJ was the call that made the difference. Thank goodness I made the call. So glad I made the call for both of us. Reach-NJ. If you or someone you love is struggling with addiction, call 844-REACH-NJ from the New Jersey Department of Human Services. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. When you need auto parts, O'ReillyAuto.com is just a few clicks away. We offer convenient options for you to get your parts quickly. Order online and pick up for free at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store. We'll even bring it out curbside. Or you can have your parts delivered right to your door with free shipping on most orders over $35. Visit O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Take some. Great. And some Frank's Red Heart. Oh, nah. I'm good. Oh, you're just going to eat these dry, plain, boring nachos with no French. Uh... Oh, seriously? Frank it up. Frank it up. Come on, lady. Frank it up. Frank it up. Frank it up. Yeah! Oh. Yeah, this guy finally gets it. Hey, 
Hey, look, we're on the Jumbo Tron. It's the perfect blend of flavor and heat. Frank's Red Hot. I put that on everything. I had a nighttime routine for my frequent heartburn. I would drink milk. I would sleep upright with more pillows. But that painful burning stayed. So I made Prilosec OTC part of my morning routine. With just one pill each morning, Prilosec OTC prevents excess acid production, blocking heartburn day and night. Now I have a new nighttime routine. I call it sleeping. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. With Prilosec OTC. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. Ian Eagle, Tony Baselli, Laura Oakman, final score in KC, 23-20. The Chiefs outlast the Bengals, a 45-yard field goal from Harrison Butker. That was the difference, Tony. Of course, we're going to jump ahead. you got Kansas City and Philadelphia in the Super Bowl. The Eagles, uh, they look dominant at times this season. They've been terrific in the postseason, this Kansas City team. Maybe it's a little different than the group that it used to be. But everybody is excited about that matchup as we set it downstairs to Laura. The best part of Patrick Mahomes just walking up to me asked how I was doing before I could say anything, which says everything about you. We've been talking nonstop about that ankle. And, of course, the last play of you making sure that you go to the Super Bowl is on your legs. But I'm curious if it was more your legs or your heart, Patrick. Yeah, I mean, that's just my competitive spirit. I don't know what you call that. Uh, the ankle has gotten better, but uh, now i got two weeks to get it better even more. But uh, it was a great game, a full game by everybody, and uh, it took everybody to win it. I talked to so many of your teammates this week about full circle moments and how important it would be not just to get to the Super Bowl, but to close this circle against this team. How much did that mean to you? Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of people talking. I think everybody and their mama took uh, the Bengals to win this game. Um, and so uh, I think our guys uh, responded to that challenge. Um, we showed why uh, the AFC runs through Arrowhead and through the Chiefs. I love talking to you this season about how much you've grown, not just as a player and as a teammate, but because of being a husband, because being a father. What does this third Super Bowl mean to you? Yeah, I mean, it, it means the world to me. I'm going to have my, my son and my daughter who's right here with me. Um, but uh, we're going to be a great football team, and the job's not done. we got to go out and play our best football if we want to have a chance to get a win. And finally, when I say the Philadelphia Eagles, you say... I mean, they're, they're a great football team everywhere, offense, defense, special team. So uh, it'll be a great challenge for us, the Kelsey Bowl. So uh, we'll see the brothers go up against each other. I love that you already have the name. Patrick Mahomes, always great to see you, but even lovelier when it's saying congratulations, you're going to another Super Bowl. Yeah, thank you always. Congratulations. I'm going to send you guys back up because I'm going to be in a crush right now. And sending it to you, but hopefully I'll have Andy read your list. All right, Laura, thank you so much. Patrick Mahomes, all heart, all grit, all, all determination. Credit to Chris Jones as well for the job he did. Had never had a postseason sack until tonight. Had two of them. You mentioned it, Tony. Not just the sacks. Wreaking havoc throughout the game. Yeah, a lot of times we get focused on sacks because he didn't have a sack coming into this game, but it's not like he was not impactful. Chris Jones is one of the guys in this league that can disrupt and mess up an entire offense. That's how dominant he was. Tonight he got home though. And so it was tackles for loss. It was pressure. It was stuff in the line of scrimmage. And then it was big pass rushes when they need it and getting Burrow to the ground. Chris Jones, we knew he was one of the all-time great players in this league right now. And he showed it tonight as, as impressive of what Patrick Mahomes did. And I don't think we've made enough of it. Jim Nance was talking to Andy Reid, mentioned it, and we talked about it during the game, Ian. They were without three of their top receivers. Smith Schuster out, you had uh, Hardman out, and you had Tony out for better parts of this game. Now, that'll be a big storyline going into the Super Bowl. Can they get those guys healthy? But Mahomes and Chris Jones, Kelsey, their stars came to play tonight. It is the Chiefs and the Eagles in Super Bowl 57. Fantastic matchup. Right now, it's time to rejoin Scott Graham in the Progressive Insurance Studios. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive save nearly $700 on average. Call or click today to find out if Progressive could save you hundreds on your car insurance. Scott, festive atmosphere here in Kansas City. The celebration is on as we send it back to you in the studio. 
All right, thank you very much, guys. And there's a lot to celebrate right now in Kansas City and in Philadelphia. As we continue here on the post game show, we're going to tell you how both of these games unfolded. You're listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One. When it feels like the world has stopped, good finds a way. It's happening, even now. Good connects us, even when we can't get close. Good never stops, and neither does Children International. With support from caring friends, we help provide children and families with the critical essentials they need. like food assistance, hygiene education, medical help, and financial support. To learn more, go to children.org slash help today. Together, we can help end poverty for good. In 2007, Marine First Lieutenant Travis Mannion was killed in Iraq after saving his wounded teammates. Travis's legacy lives on through the five words he spoke before leaving for his final deployment. If not me, then who? Words that today fuel the spirit of Travis Mannion Foundation. Words that live in veterans, families of the fallen, and inspired civilians who go out of their way to find a way, who help others with the help of others, who bounce back after each setback, who make good on good intentions. Through Travis Mannion Foundation, if not me, then who are words that can live in you too. Show the world what your character is made of. Because character is invisible until it's not. Find out how you can strengthen the character of your community alongside empowered veterans, families of the fallen, and inspired civilians at TravisMannion.org. That's TravisMannion.org. Welcome back to the post game show here on Westwood One. The road to State Farm Stadium is complete. The Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles will meet in the final game of the season in Arizona. Let's listen back now how Kansas City won the AFC title and advanced to State Farm Stadium. State Farm will help you create an affordable price just for you. Call or go to statefarm.com today to create your State Farm personal price plan. Kansas City and Cincinnati doing it again. They did it last year in the AFC Championship game. In fact, all three games that they played in calendar year 2022 all came down to just three points. Last year, the AFC title game with a big Bengals comeback came down to overtime. How is this going to roll out today? Well, Patrick Mahomes nursing the high ankle sprain all week. Cincinnati riding high coming in. But it was the Kansas City defense that really dictated the pace in the first quarter of this game. She scored first, in fact, first and second on a pair of Harrison Butker field goals. And that was during the period of time that Cincinnati had zero net yards, zero net yards in the first quarter of this ball game. As it turned out, Joe Burrow got sacked four times over the early portion of this game. He began to find a little bit of a rhythm in the second quarter. The Bengals got on the board with a field goal from Evan McPherson from 30 yards out. And with 8.36 to go till halftime, we had ourselves a 6-3 ball game. But then the Chiefs got it going offensively on an eight-play, 75-yard march. Now, you know, if you're Patrick Mahomes, in big-time situations, who you're looking to. When the situation gets to be a little bit more big-time, like, say, fourth down, you absolutely know who you're looking to. And somehow, he always gets open. Fourth and one for the Chiefs. They break the huddle. 359 to play. First half. 6-3 lead for Kansas City. Moving pocket. Mahomes looking. Right side, throws, end zone, touchdown, Travis Kelsey! Patrick Mahomes with a strike, and he delivers. 14-yard score, and the Chiefs add to their lead. So the strike to Travis Kelsey, who somehow was open again before the night was over. He'd have seven catches for 78 yards, and that score, despite the fact that he was nursing a back problem in the latter portion of the week. For the extra point, it was a 13-3 game. The Bengals did drive, though, a 12-play, 90-yard march. And although they did not get into the end zone before halftime, they got a field goal. We had ourselves a 13-6 game. As the game moved on, however, it was time once again for Cincinnati to show that they are a second-half team, and they have been all year long. 
The offense was waking up, and they put together an eight-play, 62-yard drive on their first possession of the second half with Joe Burrow making a marvelous throw to a marvelous receiver who made a, well, you fill in the blank, catch. Cincinnati will work out of the shotgun on third and six with a four-receiver set. Play clock is down to three. Burrow's got the snap. He sets. He fires to the right side. It is caught. T. Higgins floats into the end zone. Touchdown, Cincinnati. 27 yards. Perfectly arched. And the Cincinnati Bengals are an extra point away from tying this one up. At this point, you got the feeling that we were going to have ourselves a right down to the wire kind of game. The extra point did tie it at 13 apiece. But the Chiefs answered right back themselves with an 11 play, 77 yard drive. Marcus Valdez Scantling coming up big a couple of times over the course of this drive, including as they got it down deeper into Cincinnati territory on a third down play. He got stopped. It appeared short of the line to gain, but reached his arm out. Now, they said it was fourth down, but the Chiefs decided to challenge that ruling and ultimately were awarded a first down when replay showed that he had broken the plane of the line to gain with the football with his arm reaching out. That was good enough for a first down, but three plays later, MVS came up even bigger. Third down and 10 for Kansas City. 4-28. Left to go in the third quarter. Clock is moving. We're tied at 13. Pacheco in the backfield. Two receivers right. One to the left. Mahomes out of the pocket. Throws on the move. Downfield to the end zone. Valdez Scantling is there for the touchdown. In a sitting position. He hauls it in. Kansas City regains the lead. A 19-yard BB from Patrick Mahomes. Extra point was good, and with 4.15 to go in the third quarter, we hear ourselves a 20-13 to game. Now, Kansas City seemed to be in cruise control at this point, but the Cincinnati Bengals' defense was clamping down. As it turned out, Patrick Mahomes was moving his team, and it appeared he was going to be moving his team downfield, potentially into scoring position, but in the midfield area, inexplicably, he fumbled the football while he was rearing back to throw. It was trying to set his arm back. The ball popped out. He lost the ball. Then it was Cincinnati with the ball in a short field from the 45-yard line. Looked like Kansas City's defense had held in that situation, but on fourth down, the Bengals, rather than putting the football away, decided to go for it, and their big-time playmaker made a big-time play. Cincinnati facing a fourth down and six, and they're going for it at the 41-yard line. Burrow working out of the gun. Two backs surrounding it. Burrow will throw it. Deep ball on the way, it is pulled in by Jamar Chase in double coverage, caught at the six. Watson and Cook there, and they can't stop Chase. 35 yards on the hookup. Phenomenal play made by quarterback and wide receiver, and that set up a two-yard touchdown run from Samaje Pirine. The 13-30 mark of the fourth quarter, Bengals kicked the extra point. We had a 20-all ball game, and this one was going to come down the home stretch. Both defenses stiffened up and came up with big plays, including a key turnover, but Kansas City was the team was ultimately going to get the last shot when their defense hold on, held on the Bengals, I should say, late in the fourth quarter of this ball game. Now, Cincinnati had to punt the ball away, and Kansas City had, after a big sack by Chris Jones, only one timeout left. But as the Bengals punted it away, Chiefs knew they didn't need a whole lot of yardage if they got themselves a big-time punt return. Snap, no luck. Tristan puts his leg into it, end over end. It takes Moore back to the 20-yard line. He's got a running start to the 25, to the 30. Cuts it to the outside, 40, down the sideline. And he's out of bounds, just short of midfield. Big return for Sky Moore. 30 seconds on the clock, 27 yards on the run back after the 52-yard punt. So a huge return with one timeout left. Kansas City still had an opportunity. Now they burned that timeout. And they were facing a key third down still outside of field goal range with not much time left to go on the clock in this game. That was time for the leader to take things into his own hands, and it's time for the Wrangler Jeans highlight of the game. Third down and four. Play clock is down to three. Down to two. Mahomes has got the snap. Looks downfield. Mahomes avoids the rush. Mahomes down to 10 seconds. Mahomes is going to try to run for the first down, and he will. Looping the right side. He gets out of bounds. Osai there, and a flag down. A 
late hit as body spilled out along that Cincinnati sideline. Personal foul, unnecessary rough for defense, number 58. Wow. 15 yards from the end of the play, automatic first down. It was a late push. Mahomes had already gotten there. He had already gotten there, and Joseph Osai pushed him after he had crossed the white line. That extra penalty changed things around entirely. Instead of Harrison Butker still being out of field goal range, he now was in field goal range. That, by the way, you just listened to is the highlight of the game, sponsored by Wrangler. Wrangler has you covered this winter. Shop Wrangler.com for the best in Sherpa line jackets, warm flannel, and durable, stylish jeans. Wrangler, for the ride of life. So Butker now, as we said, was in field goal range. There's eight seconds left to go in the ball game. Andy Reid didn't have time or a timeout to try to run another play. So even though there was going to be time left when it was done, he elected to go for the win right then and there. 45-yard attempt. Looking for the lead. Butker. Snap. Placement. Butker's kick. He's got it! Kansas City in front with three seconds remaining. The Chiefs 23, the Bengals 20. And Cincinnati could make nothing of the squid kick. That was the end of the ball game. Another three-point game between these two growing rivals, but this time puts the Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl for the third time in four years as they win the AFC Championship game by a final of 23-20. to Just a few moments ago, our own Laura Oakman caught up with the head coach of the Chiefs, Andy Reid. Thanks, Scott. Okay, Coach Reed, we have been watching your quarterback's ankle all week, and of course, the last play to get you here is on his legs. But I asked him, was it your legs or your heart that got that play? And he goes, I don't know what you call that. No. What would you call it? Oh, they did a great job. I'm so proud of the guys and uh, big hearts. Yes, absolutely. And and then Harrison Butker coming back and having that kick. I mean, special guy, and he did a great job with that. That's the word I've heard all season, that coaches, players, everyone's been describing this team with just saying it's just special. You've been around a lot of special teams, but how is this one? Yeah, they, they get along so well, and that's the part I appreciate. I mean, it's you know, you always talk about it being a family, and these guys have taken that upon themselves to welcome the new guys in and develop this family feel to it. And I, I'm, I'm, so, I'm proud, of, proud of them as players, but I'm also proud of that part of it, of being just good guys. I love getting older and perspective is so different. I don't know if I would have asked you this your first, second, or even your third Super Bowl yeah. because I know they're all special. But what does this one mean to you? Oh, uh, it's great. I mean, you know, we started off the season. I wasn't sure anybody thought we were going to get to this point because we had so many changes in, in the team. And so, I mean, the hard work kind of bearing down, it makes it worth it. I mean, you just feel, you know, a certain feel for that. And then uh, the new guys, to see some of these older veteran guys, that we brought on that have never been. I mean, they're just so excited. Yeah. Is there something poetic about it being Philly, being the Kelsey Bowl, which is what Patrick just called it? Is, yeah. is there something lovely about all of that? Uh, yeah, it's great. I mean, they, they're a great organization. I still am very close with them, and I'm so happy for them and the city, uh, but likewise for Kansas City, too. Coach Reed, it is always so wonderful to see you. But really, when you're talking about congratulating you, I'm going to another Super Bowl. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Scott, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Laura. The Kansas City Chiefs with the 23-20 to win. Joe Burrow could not pull this one out. And after 270 yards, one touchdown, but two interceptions in the game, he reacted afterwards. The expectation is always to, to be in this game with an opportunity to win it. Uh, and I think... We have the guys in that room going forward that will put us in that position, uh, along with the front office and along with the coaching staff. You know, I feel feel really good about the, the, the direction that we're headed. You know, we've been in this game two straight years, won one, lost one. So obviously this one hurts, but you know, we'll come back stronger. Anybody willing to sign on the dotted line to see these two teams face each other, maybe in the championship game or at least the playoffs every year, they certainly do put on a show. Kansas City wins it by a score of 23-20 to to punch their ticket to Super Bowl 57. When we return, we're going to find out how their upcoming opponents, the Philadelphia Eagles, got there. This is Westwood One's coverage of Conference Championship Sunday. Town Fair Tire is Connecticut's largest name brand discount tire dealer. We give you the guaranteed lowest prices on all name brand tires and honor all manufacturers' rebates. 
We even honor our competitors' rebates. With over 100 stores from Connecticut through New England and an inventory of over 600,000 tires, you'll always get the right tire at the guaranteed lowest price. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody! Good news, New Jersey. More residents are getting quality, affordable health coverage through Get Covered New Jersey. Established by Governor Murphy, Get Covered New Jersey offers increased plan choices and more savings than ever. Open enrollment is here. If you need health insurance, now is the time to enroll. Nine in ten people get financial help for plans that include preventive care, prescriptions, emergency services, and more. And many pay $10 a month or less. Find your plan at getcovered.nj.gov. Prescription products require an online consultation with a health care provider who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for full details and important safety information. Subscription required. Hey, guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 90% cheaper? And you can get it online? Go to 4 slash joy. At Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation and discreet shipping if prescribed. You'll love your results. To start your free online visit, go to 4 slash joy. That's F O R A. H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Nachos! Hey, I'll take some. And some Frank's Red Hot. Nah. You're just going to eat these boring nachos with no flavor. Uh. Frank, get up! Frank, get up! Oh. This guy finally gets it. It's the perfect blend of flavor and heat. Frank's Red Hot. I put that sh- on everything. I used to get frequent heartburn at night, so I made Prilosec OTC part of my morning routine. One pill in the morning, 24 hours, zero heartburn with Prilosec OTC. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. Welcome back to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One from the Progressive Insurance Studios. I'm Scott Graham. Looking for a career path with flexibility, great pay, and benefits? Go to Progressive.com slash careers and apply online today. Bundle today at Progressive.com. Chiefs win 23-20 to over the Cincinnati Bengals to punch their ticket to Super Bowl 57. The team they're playing, well, they got there a little bit earlier today in the NFC Championship game. Philadelphia Eagles and the San Francisco 49ers getting together. The Niners, winners of 12 in a row and riding the wing of Brock Purdy. Last pick in the draft last year. Meantime, the Eagles had the best record in the NFC all year long. And they came out and got the scoring started in this one on their first offensive possession in front of a raucous crowd at Lincoln Financial Field. It was an 11-play, 66-yard drive, but it was ultimately a big-time play by their quarterback and their receiver that set up the first score. Fourth and three, Eagles are number three and third and short. They've got it at the 35-yard line on the opening drive at San Francisco. Shotgun snap, rush from the pocket, runs to the near side, points and throws on the run down the sideline. Leaping one hand, falling down, sideline catch by Devontae Smith at the six on the sideline. How in the world did Hurts find the escape hatch? And then what a leaping one-handed, falling down catch by Smith at 29. First and goal, Philadelphia at the six. Now, don't let the truth get in the way of a good story, because after the ball was snapped, actually after the score, which Miles Sanders would do from six yards out on a touchdown run, we saw a television replay from the other side of the field, the reverse angle. And that ball was not corralled by Devontae Smith as he went through the ground. It jiggled around. No one saw it. Philadelphia's touchdown stood at the extra point, gave them a 7-0 lead. Brock Purdy came out and hit his first couple of passes of the ball game, but then he ultimately got hit on a play as he was trying to throw the ball downfield. The ball popped out actually before he was even throwing it. It turned into a fumble. That was the least of the problems for San Francisco. Because as Purdy went to the sidelines, his elbow was hurt. We found out later he was not going to come back into this game until sometime in the second half. San Francisco's defense did a good job of keeping them in. The number one ranked defense in the NFL held the Eagles down, pinned them back in their own end. In the second quarter, they got the ball in Philadelphia territory, the 46-yard line. So they made short work of that drive. Just six plays, the final half of it, coming from their running back. Johnson under center. 23 of Philadelphia, second down and 10. Two tight ends, one back. There's the snap. Spin handoff. McCaffrey hurdles the defender, but over the right tackle he goes. 25 takes the tackle. It's a 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. He'll burst into the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. A 23-yard touchdown run. And now San Francisco, in the most improbable of ways, is one point away from tying this game in the second quarter of the NFC Championship. 
a marvelous run, breaking a couple of tackles from McCaffrey. And you heard the wonder in Kevin Harlan's voice because San Francisco was doing it without their starting quarterback. In fact, they were doing it with their fourth quarterback this year, Josh Johnson, who was only recently acquired. But it was the defense in one big play that had knotted the game up at seven. It looked like it might stay that way for a while when the Eagles went on an extended drive near the end of the first half. It was a 14-play, 75-yard drive, but it was aided by San Francisco defensive penalties. Not one, not two, but three on the same drive. And inside the two-minute warning, the Eagles cashed in. Second down and five, shotgun tap, handoff goes to the running back, Sanders over the tackle, the 10, the 5, and he's in for the 13-yard touchdown run on the 14th play of the drive. And the Eagles have recaptured the lead with 1.36 to go before halftime. Another rushing touchdown for 1,000-yard back, Miles Sanders. This was the tipping point of the ball game. The extra point, it was 14-7, to and the Niners probably would have been happy to regroup that way and go to the locker room down just one score at halftime, but it wasn't going to turn out that way. Josh Johnson fumbled a shotgun snap. The Eagles recovered at the 30-yard line of the Niners, and three plays later, just before halftime, they got in again. Hurts, right foot ahead of his left, crouching low, shotgun snap, hands off the scout, over the right tackle, the 10 to the near sideline, the 5, a block at the pylon, and a touchdown! Boston Scott squishing in on a 10-yard touchdown run, and the Eagles have scored again to build their lead to two touchdowns over the 49ers. For all intents and purposes... That was all she wrote. It was 21-7 to at halftime, but San Francisco was in the middle of a game in which they they got only 164 total net yards of offense. Brock Purdy did come back later on, hit a couple of short passes, was 4-4 four for four for just 23 yards in the game. On the other side, the Eagles, only 269 yards of their own in the ball game, but that was enough. They ran for 148. They win it by a score of 31-7. to And towards their head coach says... This is what you play the game for. It's something you, you dream about uh, your whole life. And uh, like I said to the guys, uh, whether you, we've all been dreaming about it. Whether you were dreaming about it when you were 2, 10, uh, 14, 18, or when you got in the NFL. Um, this is something we all dream about, and we get to do it because, you know, we did it better than anybody else in the NFC this, this year. So uh, that is pretty special. Fans were awesome. Atmosphere was unbelievable. I, it, uh, looking forward to celebrating this with, with loved ones and then uh, and then moving on and, and getting this next one. Well, Nick Sirianni walked around with a big grin after the game. You can't help but feel for Kyle Shanahan. He walked into this game with a 12-game winning streak and basically lost his weapon early in this game. Didn't really have an answer. He talked afterwards after a tough loss with even tougher circumstances. You know, it was kind of tough to talk in there right after the game for everybody. I got more love for these guys than... I possibly could have, and they got it for each other. Um, I was real proud of how they fought out there. Our guys didn't shy away from anything. Thought they got dealt a pretty tough card today, or a tough hand. But um, you know, I just, I just hurt for those guys, and we felt really good about this game. And uh, it was a tough one, some tough circumstances, and we should have done a few things better. But I'm really proud of the group in there. Shanahan's tight end George Kittle, who always has perspective, summed it up even more succinctly. How's that feel to lose in the NFC Championship game because I don't have a quarterback? Pretty <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, obviously for San Francisco, a rough ending, but don't be surprised if you see these two teams near the top of the NFC for the foreseeable future. Both teams are very well put together, very complete teams. Philly comes out on top in a big way today, 31-7. to They are going to the Super Bowl for the fourth time in franchise history. This has been the AFC Championship Post Game Show on Westwood One. Southern Recipe Pork Rinds. Sponsored by Southern Recipe Pork Rinds. Zero carbs, high protein. Find your rind in the snack aisle or at southernrecipe.com. We're going to wrap things up when we return. You're listening to the AFC Championship Game on Westwood One. Monster.com can help you tackle the job hunt and make your next career move in football and in life. There's the regular season, and then there's the playoffs. Monster.com knows that scoring your next job, that's a playoffs moment. To bring your A game, you need Monster.com. With great coaching and millions of job openings, Monster.com is all you need for a strong performance when it counts. We all know the playoffs are no time for messing around. Go to Monster.com and win the job hunt. 
Monster.com. Do you find yourself stuck in a timeshare? Get the real facts about the timeshare industry and your options for cancellation. Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, beat the largest timeshare company in federal court and has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know, including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare. Call now and get this timeshare information guide absolutely free. Call 800-979-1441. That's 800-979-1441. It's not easy being the one everyone counts on to keep your operation running, no matter the weather or supply chain hiccup. But we get you, Raymond and Buffalo, Maria and Miami, and Jules and Troy, taking control of everything that's under your control. At Granger, we're here for you with high-quality supplies for every industry, plus real-time product availability and access to experts ready to help. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. I wanted to know why some people who get COVID-19 get it so bad. I found out it may be because they have a high risk factor, such as heart disease, diabetes, being overweight, smoking, and asthma. Even if symptoms feel mild, these factors can increase your risk of COVID-19 turning severe. So if you're at high risk and test positive, there are things you can do, like asking your health care provider if an authorized oral treatment is right for you. Learn about an option at TreatCovid19.com. This message is sponsored by Pfizer. We all know the game isn't over till it's over. You just got to keep driving towards the end zone. And when it's time to turn the game around, you need all the right parts to play together. So next time you need a part for your car, don't call it quits. Head to eBay Motors. They have 122 million parts. So the road to victory is always in your favor. And you can keep driving well into overtime. Get the right parts at the right prices. eBayMotors.com. Let's ride. If you don't know your numbers, you don't know your business, especially in today's economy. But over 33,000 businesses do know their numbers because they use NetSuite by Oracle. NetSuite gives you visibility and control of your financials, planning, budgeting, and inventory so you can manage risk and improve margins. Everything you need, all in one place. See why NetSuite is the number one cloud financial system. NetSuite is offering a -a one-of-a-kind flexible financing program. Head to NetSuite.com slash touchdown. NetSuite.com slash touchdown. score Kansas City 23 Cincinnati 20 you've been listening to the AFC championship game presented by Intuit TurboTax I want to thank our crew for tonight's studio coordinator Curtis Poindexter studio producer Brian Finkelstein production assistance provided by Michael Haggerty Eric Nichols Nick Pope and John James statistician Mike Strauss our spotter Jim Stamos engineer Al Rosenberg production supervisor Aaron Cummins coordinating producer Mike Eby the executive producer of Westwood One Sports is Howard Denneroff Join us again next Sunday for seven days to Super Bowl Sunday, live from the 2023 Pro Bowl Games in Las Vegas. Coverage begins at 3 p.m. Eastern Time with Jason Horowitz, Darren Waller, and Amber Theo Harris. And of course, two weeks from tonight, it's Super Bowl 57 between Kansas City and Philadelphia. Kevin Harlan, Kurt Warner, Gene Steratore, Laura Oakman, and Mike Golick have all the excitement live from Arizona beginning at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Mike Golick and I kick off our pregame coverage at 2 p.m. Eastern Time with Super Bowl Preview. You can catch our entire Super Sunday broadcast right here on many of these same stations on the NFL app or stream live for free on our website, westwoodonesports.com. If it's the Super Bowl, it's on Westwood One. Once again, our final score from Kansas City, the Chiefs 23, the Bengals 20. And earlier today in the NFC title game in Philadelphia, the Eagles 31, the 49ers 7. Now, for Ian Eagle, Tony Baselli, and Laura Oakman, I'm Scott Graham. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you from Arizona. You've been listening to the AFC Championship game on Westwood One.